hello, hello. Welcome back to another weekly Wednesday live stream. I'm Peter, and as you can see in the name tag, I'm it is, well, actually, there is the is missing, right? Yeah, but usually too much honor. I don't know. I mean, you are the, you're not a Ruud Swan. No, there are more <laughs> Ruuds with DT, I think. Uh, not that many. I was going to say. It's, uh, anyway, but there's only one of you, uh, the one and only. We've got him here in the live stream. So you guys know what that means. Normally, it's benchmarking time. Well, that and like, you know, a bit more technical, like technical yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, and uh, in between us, there is the uh, the subject of today's live stream, and also a little bit uh, here. That's the artwork, as you can see. Um, so yeah, uh, we're going to be talking about the Creator 16 AI Studio. In this case, the actually the A1V, but that's a lot more even a, a model name already. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So we got it here. We actually, uh, yeah, we put the box here. Uh, I just heard it's, it's maybe it's not the actual final box, but we did we think it know. looked yeah. so nice that we didn't want to, you know, hide it under the table for you guys. Um, so yeah, basically that's uh, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, uh, we have a giveaway as always, uh, as you can see there uh, above Root, uh, Root's head. Uh, so uh, we're giving away uh, game keys for Assassin's Creed Mirage, and uh, you can. Participate by either there should be hopefully the, the the bot is working every five minutes in uh, YouTube and Twitch The chat there the bot will post a link to the gleam giveaway website there You can participate or you can go to msi.com slash two slash insider the URL uh, at the very top there uh, And there should be a link or a button to the giveaway there as well and uh, Yeah, that's pretty much it. So don't miss out on a really nice game um, let's see. Oh, I see a lot of lot of names in the chat that we always uh, see. So Skeets, hi, G Alan, Rictaldo, uh, Pandorian, uh, a lot of other names as well. But uh, yeah, always uh, good to see you guys. Um, happy Easter. Does it actually still say that? Because I thought we solved <laughs> that actually. Or is that now just like a you know has that become a meme that you guys? Keep saying, even though the bot has ceased to 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 wish everybody uh, happy Easter throughout the whole year. <laughs> well, let's see. There's a bit of a. It still says that. Oh my God! All right. Well, we'll have to look into that. I thought I banned that bot that did that, but um, I'm I may have to reban it. Who knows? Anyway, all right. Um, yeah, so uh, let's let's dive right into it. Uh, so my thought was uh, maybe to to first do a, a hands-on, like mm -hmm. a, yep. a, an unboxing, let's say, even though it's not the official box, um, yeah. and then after that dive into a little bit more specifics, because I mean obviously that's also why Ruth is here uh, to, to give you a bit more information about. Because yeah, I mean one of the new things about this laptop is that it's our first uh, uh, laptop that has the uh, current uh, currently the highest available. Meteor Lake, Intel, Intel Meteor Lake CPU, right? Yeah, that's correct. So yeah. that's also what we're going to be talking about. And we're going to show you guys what you can do with it, uh, obviously. So yep. a bit, bit of demo and benchmarking as well. So good, uh, take it away. Yeah, uh, we're just going to unpack it. It uh, looks very similar to the... Uh, it's style. upside down. Upside down. <laughs> yeah, but you open, it, you open it like this, Peter. Okay. So yeah, that's right. This but is I mean. where you look at most of the time. That's true, that's true. Uh, but uh, there's also a backside, of course. Yes, yes. With uh, which is very nice. Dragon logo on it. Yeah. Uh, the the uh, chassis is very similar to the Stealth uh, 16 design. Um, that one was um, uh, in blue color. This one is more, yeah. It's a, it's a darkish gray. Yeah. Uh, not sure about uh, the, the name of the gray, but it's dark gray. I thought it was like uh, Space Gray. Space Gray? Yeah, yeah. Like is that, that the name? It could I, be. I, I believe something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, do, you want, do you want to go? Uh, there we go. A bit more of a, a close up view there. Close up view? Yes. So we see the tooling and it's uh, aluminum magnesium tooling. Yes. Yeah. I will, I will pull up the, the product page in a minute to go over the exact yeah, details. Yeah, also the, the ports on the side. Yeah, and exactly and ports on this side you will show and it has a nice shiny uh, there should be a creator LED inside as well and it says creator I don't yep. know if there's a reflection or not yeah a little readable. bit but it's not too bad actually okay 
Not sure what kind of coating they use on that, but uh, yeah. If I do like this, then yeah, you see yeah. some shine coming from the yeah, lights. Yeah, so look for the for the RTX on there. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the box is not final, and also the the notebook is uh, a pre-production one. Yeah, yeah. But so it is a pre-production, guys. Uh, we have to uh, we have to. Kind of no, there's also a power brick, of course, because this yep. one has a quite powerful uh, graphics with the RTX 4080. Yes. So this one has a 240 watt uh, adapter. Yeah. So the adapter goes under the desk. <laughs> Need yes. to plug in the power cable, of course. Hmm. Hang on. Is it a CNC chassis or not? Uh, not sure, actually. So let's also connect the HDMI so you can see what I'm seeing. And also the internet is. Well, maybe uh, other than that, maybe we can actually uh, first go to uh, to the product page as well. So uh, yeah, so this is the, the laptop itself. Obviously, I mean, we just showed it to you guys. Uh, a little bit more information about it, uh, and this is you know this information you can also find by going to MSI.com. So this is literally the web page. Um, so uh, let's go a little bit more. So it's, it's lightweight and portable. That's the idea behind this. So it's not like a, a huge power brick or what is it? You know, like a, a, the, the top end, let's say, with the, the big performance, because then you'd, you'd need a little bit more of a, um, a space to cool as well for uh, extra cooling there. Uh, so it is still quite lightweight and portable. Uh, but for that size, it is very, very powerful. Um, so yeah, it uses yeah. a magnesium aluminum alloy to be very light, but still very strong. Yeah, sturdy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, and I'm trying to see if, if it says there, if it's CNC'd or not. I'm not sure. I don't think it says that anywhere. No, I don't. OK. Well, so I'm, I'm not sure to, I, I, unfortunately, I can't answer that question, if it's CNC'd or not. But uh, uh, I see people saying it's an OLED display. It is actually not. Uh, but uh, we'll, this, yeah, we'll this get one, to that. This one has a, a pre-production uh, LCD inside, so it uh, doesn't have Mini LED no. or OLED. So no, indeed. it's a very uh, but I mean it's not OLED one. anyway. Uh, yeah. it, if it's anything, it's uh, it's uh, either IPS level or, or uh, Mini LED indeed. So uh, the other thing we're going to be talking about uh, later on this live stream is, of course, uh, one of the big things in there is a uh, new Intel Core Ultra processor. Uh, it's not the uh, Ultra 9 that it says here because it's up to. No. So our model has the Ultra 7. 165, yep. right? H, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. H, yeah, exactly. Uh, but anyway, more information uh, about that later on. Um, these uh, laptops obviously also feature a, a dedicated uh, graphics card or graphics chip, basically, as uh, Ruth already mentioned. So our model uh, has a uh, RTX 4080. Um, I'm not sure what configuration, as in how, what it can uh, use maximum. Is, there's usually there's a, like a max TDP, right? Yeah, uh, um, I've seen it top out at around 100 watts. So okay. th that's about what the chassis can cool. Uh, yeah. So yeah, the, uh, if you want more power in the 4080, then you should go with the GE or GT laptops. Yeah. And then yeah. you well, can go up Quirky, to. Well, actually, Quirky Quirky yeah. Zero says both 4080 and 4090 are limited to 105 watts. No, it depends oh, on, on the, the chassis. Okay, I was going to yeah. say that's not like no, overall. That's on no. our product pages. Okay. Yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah. true that the 4070 and below um, don't get any real benefit if you give it more power than 105 watts. Hmm. But the 4080 and the 4090 yeah. can. Uh, actually use that extra yes. power to yeah. generate more performance. They have more yeah. headroom indeed. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah, and the 40, uh, yeah, 4070, around 105, 100 watts, then uh, any additional power doesn't translate into performance anymore. No, no, indeed. And you have to remember that, for especially for the mobile chips, those are more attuned for uh, like the optimal efficiency curve, yeah. rather than for desktops, what you often see is they push it quite a bit past the, 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 the most oh. efficient point, and basically just as far as they can go uh, without completely ruining the thermals. Uh, I think we read the, the, uh, the, the comment wrong. Uh, it oh. means the 4080 and the 4090 in this chassis yeah. is limited yeah, yeah, yeah. to 105. Yes. Yeah, On that, our that, product that's page. definitely possible. Yes, yeah. Correct. Yeah. I've yeah. seen it yeah, reach up to 100, but with dynamic boost, it can boost a little higher. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. 
So that's uh, All right. that's correct. Uh, so this part we're going to be uh, coming back to, but it, it I mean it, it's in the name AI. That's uh, you know one of the things uh, both in hardware and in software uh, it comes back to it. Uh, yeah. But we will show you a bit more hands-on about this as well later on. So I'm going to skip this for now. Um, and then onto the display because I, I mean, somebody mentioned uh, it was. Uh, oh yeah, uh, Philip Sousa was saying it's an OLED display. Uh, no, uh, it, they there are a couple of variants of this uh, laptop, and um, most of them are IPS level. I'll, I'll show it's in the specifications at the top. Uh, there's multiple models, obviously, but uh, like the top end, uh, let's say, is the mini LED display, um, and so this. This means basically it has really nice uh, local dimming as well and true blacks and, and all that kind of stuff. It really, yeah. it's meant to, to compete with OLED a bit, but it's a different technology. So we don't want to mix these two up. No. Um, and uh, I'm not sure, Ruud, what, what, what can you say about the, uh, because the brightness, it's still, well, that's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, LCD is known for its brightness. And, exactly. Uh, if you want to take a, a laptop outdoors or in a bright environment, then yeah, uh, more brightness from the screen will help. So yes. OLED is not really um, uh, great with uh, the peak brightness or with the full screen of uh, high brightness. So yeah, uh, the LCD usually has less problems with that. So exactly. still consumes power. So yeah. uh, on a battery, you you might run out quicker. But exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, the resolution I think differs per model, if I'm correct. So we can we can see that in yeah. the specifications in the moment. But uh, yeah, it goes up to 4K, uh, yeah. or, or actually more than 4K, actually. So normally you have like three panels you can choose from, or choose from. Yeah. There's three SKUs or four SKUs with yes. three different panels, something like that. Exactly. Yeah. But being a creator model also means I think that's has that got to do with the golden ratio as well that it's uh, like it, it, it's yeah, a bit of a different. Yeah. Yeah. It's not 19. What is it? 19 by six or what was it? Normally? 16 by nine is the oh, yeah, nine, the, yeah. the yeah previous generations exactly. were all 16 by nine. Uh, yeah. more for the the video aspect ratio yes and yeah nowadays the the trend is going with uh, 16 by 10 or sometimes even exactly. 3 by 2 depending on uh, on the but i mean that makes sense because you need a bit of space like at the top or at the bottom for your task bars let's say or your programs so you can still still see almost full screen the the uh, the stuff you're editing let's say say it's a video of a uh, traditional format uh, you still have a bit more space at the top or at the bottom um, to, to, to have your yeah. your toolbars, let's say. I think it's also because uh, many displays now have uh, less of a bezel. So yep. then, yeah. A it, bit more it, space. It, yeah, it will not give you more uh, height or depth, I mean, yeah. depending on how you look at it. No. So you, you can squeeze in a 16 by 10, which is just giving you a little bit more yep. Uh, uh, space. surface area where you yep. can watch. Uh, real space, yeah. uh, sorry, screen real, real estate. estate. Screen real estate. Yes. Yeah. 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 I, um, I see a lot of people being very surprised that we're mentioning 4080 and 4090. Please don't uh, mistake these for the, I mean, these, these do not offer the same performance as a desktop 4080 or 4090, right? No. These are different chips. Uh, so for laptops, they are, like I said, they are, maybe technically they have some similarities, obviously, but uh, they are way more tuned down, let's say, to be more in, the if in their most efficient range yeah. rather than being in their peak performance. So desktop, uh, full desktop cards usually, uh, you know, they go for full performance. That's why, like, a f especially a 4090 and a 4080, uh, the, the, the actual card itself might actually weigh about as much as the whole friggin' laptop that the root has in front of him. So that's yeah. the difference. And that's needed for the cooling because yeah. it's, you know, it's using a lot more power. Yeah. Whereas in these laptops, um, you know, they use a lot less power, uh, and they're still pretty damn powerful, but not quite as powerful as their desktop uh, variants. So sure. just wanted to clarify that. Yeah. Stick an end on <laughs> stick an M on the end of uh, uh, for uh, for the eighty. Yeah, uh, that would have been the, the the nicer way. Yeah. Well, they they did that in the past. In didn't the past, they? yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly, but it's up to Nvidia uh, in this case uh, to to. You know, to decide if they want to do that or not. Um, Officially, now it's called the RTX 4080 laptop GPU. Yeah, that's how it, it's also written in. Uh, yeah, I, if you open GPU Z documents. or CPU Z yeah. or HW Info 64, yeah. it will literally say RTX 4080 laptop GPU. Yeah, yeah. or laptop. Yeah. So Alan mm -hmm. is saying the die is half the size of a desktop GPU. Well, I'm, actually, not, I'm not sure about no, that, but that yeah. I would believe that, yeah. The, the highest one, the 4090 mobile or yeah. laptop GPU, is basically a similar chip to the 4080 desktop. Yeah. So there's always like one step in between, yeah. Exactly. And then it's also you know, uh, p power tuned or power limited, so. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, okay, uh, so the other things, obviously, so uh, color accuracy for a creator laptop is very important. So that's yep. why you also have the 100% uh, DCI P3 coverage, um, uh, high, very high color accuracy uh, per unit calibration. Yep. Uh, meaning, well, again, you know, the, the, you can have a really good panel, which this is, uh, but if the calibration isn't done correctly or not at all, then you can still have a lot of variance. So one unit can be great and the other can be complete trash. Yep. Uh, so obviously uh, you want that consistent quality. Not the panels you use in this kind of laptops. They, they are pretty good, but if yeah. you fine-tune them, then they are accurate. Yes, well, yeah. and that's the thing that's most important yeah. for most creators, right? So uh, yeah. they want not like oversaturated stuff or very dull colors, they want accurate yeah. colors. Yeah, yeah. the oversaturated part is more, uh, you can set up in, in true color, the yeah. application. You can choose which uh, limitation of color you want. Uh, and, or color space, um, but m most of the time the, the, the accuracy is more like the white point should be right into the uh, 6500K uh, uh, 6, uh, zone and uh, how you tune that, usually the other colors will also align much better mm. if, if the, 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 the primaries are also in the right spot. Usually the, ri the primaries are kept with the color space, with the true color, and then the fine tuning is how to get the, uh, the white point balanced and also the, the, the colors in between. So, so how Skeets, much saturation? So a couple of questions. One, Skeets is asking, can all mini LED panels do HDR? I, 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 I'm not sure. I think like uh, with... Yeah. Yeah, is it, uh, is it always? I think it, it, it doesn't make sense to make a mini LED panel that cannot do HDR because if you put mini LED as a backlight yeah. and you, you already... Uh, created the, the the function of local dimming zones. True. Yeah. Then, yeah. You'd the, think. Yeah. yeah. That's really well suited to HDR. Yeah, because but, th yeah. Th there's one downside for LCD, and that's the the black level. Yeah. Uh, compared to uh, OLED, for example. Yeah. And uh, OLEDs can do uh, a very good HDR uh, experience. And yeah, to, to achieve that same kind of level of blackness, uh, they need local dimming, and the more zones, the better, or uh, the more tuned zones uh, or uh, local dimming algorithms, then uh, you can get a, a similar performance yeah. as OLED with a higher brightness. That's the idea with uh, the I was gonna say, LED panels. I mean, HDR, it's, it's not just about black levels, right? So it's about it's peak brightness yeah. and, and dimming and, and yeah. black levels yeah. as well. So, so it's contrast, but also the, yeah. the full range. So if yes. you have a high uh, output for, for the peak uh, white or uh, light colors, yeah. uh, then the black don't need to be perfect black and no. still have a, a good experience. Indeed. But because, I mean, this model, obviously, yes, it has local dimming zones, so it will not be quite as good as OLED, uh, no. although it will be much better than uh, any other uh, LCD display you yeah. can you can have. Um, but what this does have uh, over OLED is is a lot more brightness. So yeah. this, this one can get a lot more bright than yeah. uh, an OLED display. Yeah. Which is very useful. Yeah, um, and I, also I haven't seen this panel yet, but most of the no. times with the Creator laptops, uh, you should get around like 400 to f 500 nits on full white uh, brightness. So if the, the whole screen is white, you can still get four to 500 nits. No. And that's not achievable on the OLED uh, in laptops yet. No. I mean, this one actually even states 1,000 nits. So yeah, but that's a peak brightness. And yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's the HDR Not sustained. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, another question I saw, Ruth, I'm, I'm not sure if you know the answer for this. Uh, NRT uh, Antiktera was asking, do you include X-Rite? Uh, at the moment, no, no. Okay. Cool. We used to have one uh, monitor. We, uh, uh, we had one yeah. uh, color calorimeter. Uh, <laughs> bundled with it, or at least as an accessory, and yes. uh, yeah, right. it was a limited supply and a yeah. limited action. Yeah, exactly. production. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay, and then well, I mean, you can see a couple of other. I mean, it's VESA certified for display HR, HDR yeah. uh, 1000, yeah. um, and also Calman verified. So that's yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and again, there's a bit more detail if you want to go uh, there. You can yeah. you can click on it. Um, yeah, but the factory uh, works with Calman. And, exactly. Uh, uh, their for software the to, to calibrate each exactly. panel in each laptop yeah. and uh, that profile is uh, saved on our server and the true color program will uh, uh, it's already pre-installed when you buy it and uh, yes. in windows the profile is already installed but uh, if you would reinstall it then true color will uh, get the profile from our server and uh, mm. calibrate your panel as it were new from the factory exactly so that's uh, uh, how it works in a, in a yeah. nutshell 
Uh, so Fio Mayo was asking uh, one more question. The whole body is made of a mixture of uh, magne magnesium and alum aluminium, yep. uh, or aluminum. I guess you're uh, from the US maybe, because you use the US spelling of aluminum. Um, I'm not sure that the whole body is made of that. It will be, uh, yeah. I'm not sure, maybe we can do a close-up as well. We yeah, basically the, this is what we call the A side, and this is the B, C, and D side. Yeah. The B side is basically the, where the uh, the, the, the LCD panel is uh, yeah situated is covered so yeah. yeah the cover or bezel around it that's obviously plastic yes and the rest of the sides are all aluminum magnesium alloy and what about the uh, uh, basically your wrist rest and and the yeah uh, that's the also keyboard. aluminum yeah that's also aluminum yeah. okay it's metal yeah okay cool yeah that's so metal those because parts uh, are yeah. indeed uh, yeah the yeah. the um, alloy let's say yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, let me see. Back to the page. Um, so uh, it has a, uh, let's say, upgraded cooler solution um, with two fans. Obviously, most notebooks have two fans there. Uh, very flat fans, obviously. Um, yeah. And then seven heat pipes, uh, two of which, as you can see in the graphic there, are shared between the uh, GPU and the CPU, and the other ones are a bit more dedicated and uh, to, to specific parts of the laptop, yeah. Uh, but all in all, it, it really helps to uh, yeah achieve really good cooling. To be fair, like I said, you know, also I'm I'm used to um, desktop components, so for me, like a couple of hundred watts of power uh, draw of a, of a GPU or something, you know, I'm not surprised by it. Uh, but on these uh, laptops, obviously, you're talking a lot of uh, a lot different numbers, let's say, so it's a lot lower, uh, and it has to be, otherwise, yeah. you know, you can't get it cooled within the constraints of this uh, of that form factor yeah you need a bulkier laptop then you can do that yeah yeah exactly yeah. I mean you can do that but then you know again it's not yeah, we, we also have affordable. the laptops with the 400 watt bricks yeah well I mean <laughs> like there's the brick but there's also the the, the cooling solution yeah, so yeah, it yeah, actually yeah, has to yeah, pack more yeah. metal inside yeah. to, to do the cooling uh, USB yeah. ports we're mm -hmm. getting to that there also stick around we'll uh, we'll show that to you uh, um, and let's go down. Yeah, so the battery as well. So this, I think, you know, this is not new. We've we've had this for quite a while, but it's really nice. Uh, why it's 99.9 .9 watt hour is because that's, uh, I, I believe the word is barely legal, right? It's like uh, there's, a, there's a limit. So if it's over this capacity, um, then you're not allowed to take it on an airplane, I believe. So this... Well, you need to fill in forms and stuff. Exactly, yeah. 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 Um, so this is actually why this is like the, the highest you can go. Uh, within the actual legal bounds uh, that you're still allowed to just, you know, without any issues, uh, yeah, take it on a plane question, and travel yeah. with it. So it's all, always nice. Uh, I love that term, barely legal battery as well. It's really nicely uh, thought up. Um, yeah, here's the connectivity. So uh, there we go. Uh, Daryl, you were asking for it. Well, here you go. So uh, here's a little list of it, and I'll, I'll, I'll just go over it quickly, and then Ruth can also share it maybe physically on the laptop itself where all of them are located. But uh, obviously, there's a Kensington lock if you leave it somewhere, and uh, you know you, you want to make sure that people cannot take it with you. Shall or I show it? Or take it with them. Uh, RJ45, uh, obviously, for uh, networking. Mm -hmm. uh, HDMI 2.1. Uh, with support of 8K 60 hertz and 4K 120 hertz, so that's very nice. Um, an SD card reader, uh, always useful, especially if you're, you know, into photography or filming or stuff like that. SD card is still widely used. Um, USB uh, 3.2 Gen 2 Type C, uh, which also supports display or uh, display, yeah, port, uh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. display port, let's say. Um, uh, a, I want to say barrel jack. <laughs> is that the, no, the term? No, it's not right? barrel anymore. It's not it, a barrel. Oh no, God! Okay, it, it's I rectangular it well. this time. Or okay, that's already some time. I, I oh don't know yeah. If our close-up cam can uh, really yes, catch it. Yeah, yeah. It looks like a bit like a yeah, USB. Exactly. But then, yeah, yeah. It doesn't have the opening in the front. It looks. Uh, it looks small. quite sturdy as well. Is there yeah, a yeah, magnetic component to it, or? Sorry, what? Is there a magnetic component to it? No, no, it's just ah, inserting okay. it, and it, it clicks in, and, okay. but it's reversible, so it, it doesn't matter which side up you, you plug it in. There you go. It, so it's it USB without the downside of USB-A, at least, that it's like 50-50 chance. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you need to plug it in three times, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it also has the uh, a couple of uh, USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A, obviously, and we'll show yeah. that to you in a min minute, uh, how many of them and uh, uh, where they're located. 
Also, yeah. Thunderbolt 4 with power delivery 3.0. So that's really nice for if you have to attach, uh, you know, your, your some peripherals or maybe even a monitor or whatever. You could power a lot of things with that or just charge your phone really quickly. That's also nice. Um, and obviously a uh, audio combo jack. Um, so I'll leave it to Ruud to uh, disconnect the laptop. Yeah, I'll disconnect show it. Show you them. So this side is the... There you go. Okay. So there's the, the network, indeed. Uh, the HDMI 2.1 that we mentioned. HDMI. Yes, card reader. Card reader, mini SD. Exactly. And USB, uh, I think it's 10, 10 gig with yeah. uh, display port. Exactly. The other side is, here we go. Uh, that's the power. So oh it yeah. looks like this. Exactly. So that's, wow. I would be tempted to confuse that with USB because it's so similar in it's terms of size. It's very similar in size, yes. Yes. Also shape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then there's one USB-A. Yeah. One Thunderbolt 4. There you go. And then there's the audio jack. Yes. Yeah. What's this then? And that's a... Uh, I, I, LED the, for the, yeah. battery charging. Okay, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Battery charging indicator, indeed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the speakers are here, but also on the top, so also front uh, firing. The grill. Or, yeah. Exactly. And the, the wrist. Uh, ah. Also nice, there's, a, as you can see, there's a, a very small trackpad on the right there, for if you have really small fingers. Yeah, no, this just, one. Just yeah. kidding. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, that's so that's the fingerprint reader, uh, yeah. which also really useful uh, if you like, you know, just for for a little bit of added security. If you don't want to just use a code or something or a pin, you just use your fingers and let's go. You can also use your face if you want. Yeah. Well, you, you can push your face onto that thing. Really? Uh, that, yeah, you can try. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if it will read it correctly. <laughs> well. <laughs> Okay, so I but guess that's Windows like win Hello is also supported. I was going to say, that's yeah. Windows yeah. Hello, right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, so I saw some questions about the specs. Uh, the model that we have, which is, uh, you can find that on the website, actually, and I'll, I'll show that to you guys now uh, as well. Yeah, but it's not the correct spec on this one because it's a pre-production. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but if you uh, go to specifications, and we have the model on the right side, uh, so that's the Creator AI Studio A1VHG, or at least closest to that. Yeah. But as you can see on the left side, there's another one as well. Here you can already see that there are multiple uh, uh, different uh, yeah, sizes and, and uh, options for monitors, let's say, for the, uh, the display. Um, so as you can see, it's, it's either uh, uh, QHD, Full HD, or uh, 4K, and the 4K version uh, comes with mini LED. All of them are IPS level, which means really good viewing angles. Uh, which also, again, is very handy when it comes to working, um, you know, on site, uh, showing people stuff uh, like you know, just turn the laptop and they can quite easily see uh, the, uh, yeah, the content quite well. It goes up to, or both of them go up to uh, the uh, Intel new Core Ultra 9 processor. The one that we have, as mentioned, uh, has a uh, Core Ultra 7. Uh, yeah. But we'll get a little bit more into that later on as well. Uh, also, for the graphics, you can see it goes, um, well, the left side, it goes up to uh, actually the 4090 uh, mobile or, or laptop GPU. And the one that we have uh, features a RDX 4080 laptop GPU with 12 gigs of GDDR6 and up to a uh, 1665 megahertz boost with, indeed, limited to 105 watts with dynamic boost. Um, yeah, so you can also see compared to a desktop. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm uh, the, the graphics card guy basically. So these uh, boost clocks compared to the desktop variant are also quite a bit lower, it seems. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's all to get the more power efficiency out of it as well, but still getting a lot of uh, performance out of it simultaneously. Uh, the memory configurations, as you can see, maximum of uh, 96 gigs, which is quite a lot. Um, D uh, DDR5 support um, with uh, 5600, two slots, um, but also this varies per uh, per mm, memory capacity, per basically per configuration. I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it has uh, the capacity for two M.2 uh, SSD slots. I'm not sure if both of them are utilized. Uh, it, you know, when you buy it, this will also vary per configuration that you can find in the shop. Uh, but it uh, it supports up to Gen 4, which is already quite fast. The webcam, um, IR, that's like infrared, I guess? Yeah, that, that, that's with the Windows Hello. Right. You need the IR camera yeah. for that. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's full HD, uh, 30 FPS uh, with HDR and uh, three noise reduction. I'm not sure. Can you 
say anything about the noise reduction? Uh, oh, that's built in the MSI uh, center part. I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Th there's like a uh, audio tune or oh right, that something part. similar. I'm not sure. Yeah. I noise haven't tune? played with that in, in yeah. a long time. Yeah. 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 Uh, backlight keyboard, obviously, you, you noticed that. Uh, so uh, all of them have a uh, killer uh, LAN uh, up to uh, 2.5 gigabit. Um, and uh, they all support Wi-Fi 7. So that's very nice going forward. Yeah. So it's a bit more future-proof, at least in the networking department. Uh, if you ever do make the jump to Wi-Fi 7, this thing can handle it. Uh, and yeah. Bluetooth uh, 5.4. It's also a uh, killer Wi-Fi 7. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't mention here, so I didn't want to say it, but okay, fair enough. But yeah, the, the basically the chip comes from Intel. But yes. Yeah, yeah and Killer is, is you know, uh, bought by Intel, right? So it is basically yeah. Intel these yeah, days. It is, it's Intel. Yeah. Um, okay, audio jack. Uh, so obviously we already mentioned that. Uh, the speakers, uh, so two woofers and uh, two uh, uh, yeah, tweeters or whatever you want to call it. I mean, if one's a woofer, then the other one's a tweeter, I guess. Yeah, maybe it's mid-range <laughs> and high-range yeah, exactly. combined or yeah, <laughs> generic one. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, also, 3D noise reduction is for the webcam, not audio, for a cleaner image, indeed. Just want to clarify that. Okay, so Quarky was saying that, indeed. Um, thanks for that. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's something we maybe we can try out in a, in a, in a future stream or something. Um, yeah, all the I.O. ports we just mentioned already. Uh, I think it has pretty comprehensive I.O. Uh, plenty to work with. Uh, fingerprint and obviously all the security stuff. So, uh, you know, trusted platform modules, uh, the, the latest versions and everything like that. Uh, also very nice a webcam shutter. I'm not sure. Can you show that, uh, Ruth? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll oh. plug it again. I'm going to go to the, yeah, I'm going to go to the close-up cam. So, so it reflects a little bit because it's a shiny part. Can you get it closer? Because I mean, Close it's, it's it? tiny, isn't it? Yeah, it's very small. So there's a shutter and it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. With actually, the, with the reflection turns, on it, it's more clear. It so there's like a physical little switch there, like a, yeah. a slider. And then it turns red if it's blocked. So basically, there's a little bit of plastic coming in front of the the camera yeah. lens. Yeah. Yeah. And so meaning nobody can turn your camera on or watch you if you if you don't want to. You're 100 percent sure that you know you you've got privacy. Let's say nobody yeah. can see you if you uh, close that. Thing. Yeah. It's if, the if physical. If you're working naked uh, at yes. home, then yeah. yeah, you can still block. Exactly. It. Yeah. 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 Or if you're, you know, if you're, if your OnlyFans uh, fans <laughs> aren't, aren't aren't paying up, you know, you can just slide that thing and uh, there you go. <laughs> No uh, more fun for you. Have different camera. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no more fun for you. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sold retail price. Well, actually, that's one of the things I don't have for you at the moment, um, because again, that's also highly dependent on, on the, the uh, yeah. on the on the skew on the configuration. So I could I could say a price, but it you know it really depends on what they're selling in your country. Oh, here we go. It's not. It wasn't space gray. The, the color gray. was actually lunar gray. Here yeah, we go. But yeah. it's also yeah. in space, right? Lunar? Yeah. Well, lunar? yes. Ah, that's probably why I, I thought of that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, all uh, most of them have a four-cell battery, the 99.9 .9 watt-hour battery, which is really nice. Uh, two 240 watt adapter, uh, just you know, so it can cover all the the range of power usage that it could possibly do. Uh, the dimensions. Uh, I mean, it's it's not very big. It's 16 inch as well, so yeah. it's it's quite portable still, and it's it's just just under two kilograms. So that's also that's very light for a, a, a an impressive laptop like this. Uh, I use a bit of packing packing tape on mine. Gigaram. Oh God! I, I sh should I should I know more? <laughs> uh, that's your, oh okay. You mean to block camera? Yeah, I mean I mean that works, right? But I mean oh, it, it camera, can it yeah. can leave residue. Um, you know, like uh, sticky stuff there. So it's always nice just to have like a little uh, physical switch there to just uh, make sure it's blocked. I also saw that they, they they sell like plastic things with cover with uh, with a sliding cover. Oh, of course. So they you do. can, uh, yeah, but you then, just then your your, your laptop lid won't close fully anymore. Yeah, yeah. But apparently there's a market for it. Yeah, obviously. I mean, there's, <laughs> there's a market for a lot of things that don't make sense. But hey, uh, all right. So that's uh, the uh, physical product. Now let me see if we skipped anything here. Uh, and maybe it's 
time for to do one giveaway as well. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, if you want to participate, go to msi.com slash two slash insider or click on the link uh, that's being shared every five minutes on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, the other, I mean, if you're looking on uh, one of the other platforms like uh, TikTok or uh, what is it, Facebook, X. Twitter, I refuse to call it X. Oh, OK. okay. I mean, because we've, you know, the thing is, we've, we're, we're streaming on, on three uh, Twitter platforms. So, so technically, that's XXX, right? Triple yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> X content. Exactly, triple X content, that's right. Um, there you go. Um, but yeah, th those don't like, uh, either don't have a, a live chat worth mentioning, or uh, they don't like uh, us sharing links or URLs in the chat. So that's why we're kind of limiting the, or we're limited, basically, sharing that link in, uh, in the other two platforms on YouTube and on Twitch. So I recommend you watch us on there. Um, let's see. Let me open the giveaway page. See if uh, if you guys have been uh, entering already. Oh yes, you have. That's nice. Right. So uh, let's draw our first winner then. And it's a random draw. Um, and we'll see how this goes. Here we go. We have our first winner and their name is Helgen. Congratulations Helgen, you win the first game code and we'll send that out to you later on this week. We hope you have a lot of fun playing Assassin's Creed Mirage. Uh, and we'll be giving away more game codes later on this live stream, so if you haven't won yet, uh, please stick around. You still have plenty of chance to win. Uh, let's see, any interesting questions in the chat? Uh, plastic covers are commonplace at job fairs. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if it's a, you know, the thing is, if it's a, if it's a company laptop, then who cares if it doesn't close properly anymore, right? That's, I guess. Uh, it's gaffer tape for my OnlyFans, GigaRam says. Okay, uh, good to know, good to know. Yeah, maybe you should uh, up the ante for, uh, for actual, uh, what is it, duct tape next time. <laughs> um, uh, right. Uh, let me see. All right. With a battery you can take on a plane. Uh, I'm not sure. All right, so there's a discussion going on about batteries. Price also, yeah. Ba mm -hmm. Price and batteries. Yeah, again, like I can't really comment on the price specifically. Uh, I'm late to the show. Can I see a side profile, please? Ah, oh, we already showed it. So uh, you can you can always, uh, if you watch, watch on our YouTube, back, you yeah. can actually mm -hmm. You know, you can go back uh, in time, let's say, and, and watch that again. Uh, or you can go to uh, to the product page. Again, like all the uh, information is there. So if you go to msi.com uh, slash, uh, well, basically msi.com and then go to the uh, to the product page of this, uh, of the Creator 16, <coughs> you, you look for it and then uh, you get this and you get all the, like you, you get specifications, but you also get the gallery and yep. in the gallery, you can you can look as close up as you possibly want, as well. So that's always nice. Uh, okay, Quirky. Uh, Quirky seems to be really invested in this stream, so I'm gonna I'm gonna honor his question. He also has pretty good questions yeah, as well. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. yeah. So is the screen and he's saying I'll, I'll just read them out for you guys so everybody yeah. knows uh, what we're answering. Uh, is the screen anti glare or glare? Um, how is the mini LED blooming issue solved on text editing? Not sure if we can comment on that yet because our, our sample actually doesn't have the mini LED um, um, panel, let's say. No, this one doesn't, no. A exactly. Uh, and can local dimming be turned off like some other mini LED screen support? Okay, so uh, first I, question, I so. is it glare or anti-glare? Well, this one is anti-glare, but this one is not the mini LED panel, so yeah, this is yeah. a very generic I, panel, I think. Indeed. I, I get the feeling, because the other questions are more about MiniLab, that you're more uh, also... Yeah. No, no, don't be oh. sorry, Corky. Actually, we, we appreciate your questions, because they're so specific, so pointed. So that's why yeah. it's... Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, th those are gra great questions. Exactly. I mean, yeah, that, that's what people want to know. And yes. uh, I, I think that kind of stuff also needs to be on our website, if it's glare or, or not glare, I mean... Actually, sometimes it will mention it. Let me, yeah. let me quickly check. Uh, Usually... W what we have is if it has a mm. touch screen or it's an OLED, then usually it's glare. 
Yeah. And with the, the, the LCDs, it's usually non-glare. But exactly. I this is kind of in between, on, on, I guess. On these creators, because I haven't received a production model yet. No, so. indeed. And it doesn't mention it here, but no. um, yeah. But th that's one of the specs I uh, already to told our uh, HQ to, to, to provide that kind of information. Also, it, the, the, yeah. the, the maximum brightness it can uh, do full screen. To clarify it a bit, indeed. Yeah. I'm, I'm not like sure. That. Let, yeah. Me, yeah. let me see. Maybe there's <coughs> a little bit. I also, yeah, I also asked the same question if the local dimming can be turned off. Yeah. And um, they, they weren't sure about that yet, so. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we already had one, or we actually we had two mini LED displays already in the past. Uh, the last one was on the Titan uh, uh, GT77, the 13 Gen HX. Mm. And at that time, the, the, uh, the local dimming could not be turned off. So also in desktop mode or in, in non-HDR mode or SDR mode, you would still have the local dimming which I thought was um, annoying. Exactly. But yeah. yeah, hopefully it will be able to turn off in the yeah. next generation. And like I said, you know, some questions we were not able to answer yet because also, I mean, th again, this is a very early uh, production yeah. sample, let's say. Mm -hmm. And so uh, this might still uh, change. Um, and then we, you know, some things we, we still need to clarify with our HQ. So it's, it's kind of like a yeah. preview, I guess, in a, in a is, lot yeah. of ways. Also, we're talking about the CPU uh, because that's kind of new, mm. uh, stuff like that. And exactly. that's where the AI name came from. Uh, so the yeah, maybe let's uh, let's look into that now. So I need to switch then. Uh, let me see. Got a few slides prepared for that. Uh, is this the one? This is the one. Let me see. Uh, here we go. So. Okay. Um, Yes, so one of the big new things about this laptop, obviously, is Meteor Lake, Intel Meteor Lake. Yeah. Um, and what that means is uh, it's uh, there's a slight change. So you might notice that the i is gone. There's no i9, i7, i5 anymore. Uh, now it's Intel Core 9, for example, or 7. And there's an Ultra in there as well. And uh, this is uh, one of the first models that we have with the Ultra or Core Ultra processors. Yeah. Um, and as it says here, uh, basically, it uh, represents the, the new next generation, let's say, of Intel. So it's really their move into a, a new direction. Um, and it's all about uh, uh, providing cutting edge performance, uh, but also enhancing power efficiency and adding in some, some AI features as well. So it does all these things simultaneously. Um, and it also makes, uh, makes use of Intel's Intel, what they call Intel 4 process node. Now, I'm not sure if that means 4 nanometer, no. uh, but anyway. It um, <laughs> it's, sometimes those numbers kind of do go in that but direction. Since um, the 7 nanometer stuff, then yeah. Yeah, you have different kind of optimizations. And yes. Yeah, so they're yeah. not easily comparable. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. so it, it uses a new process node, though, so that's significant. Uh, secondly, compared to the 13th Gen H processor, it, it has performance up to about 10%. Uh, uplift, let's say, and uh, especially one of the biggest jumps it has is the uh, it, it moved from uh, I think there was Intel Iris Xe in in the previous generations, mm -hmm. the integrated graphics, let's say, and now they actually include Arc iGPU or integrated graphics, and that's yeah. a huge jump as you will see. And I see a lot of people in the chat already uh, very excited about that, and I think uh, rightfully yeah. so uh, because that that's really uh, one of the big jumps as well. Uh, but another thing that they added, uh, really a, a new addition uh, there, is uh, their AI boost, uh, the N an NPU or neural processing unit. Uh, and this thing is specifically designed or created to uh, help with the AI workloads, let's say. Yeah. Um, and the, the, the big thing about it is that it's very efficient at doing that. Uh, so it, it's kind of like having a little accelerator by the side, let's say. Uh, that can help with those workloads. Uh, and again, it's yeah. very efficient, which, which is very useful for a, a laptop if you're working on battery, for example. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't use a lot of power, um, but it can really make a big difference uh, when, when doing AI workloads. Um, basically, the updated Iris graphics. Yeah, but it's a big update, uh, the Arc graphics. Yeah. Um, 
So yeah, it's 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 uh, well they say up to eight times AI efficiency. That's that's compared to uh, a 13th gen uh, Core i7, as you can see below there, integrated graphics doing it. So obviously uh, there's a huge jump there. Yeah, we have performance numbers on that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get to that later. First, yeah. I want to show a little bit also about uh, the schematic, which yeah. you, mm -hmm. you put some work into, because this is also <laughs> like on a technical level, and this is one of the big reasons why uh, Ruth is here as well. Um, yeah, it, it's basically uh, what Intel calls it the tile architecture, right? Or a tile. Yeah, tile. Yeah, tile is their name for the chiplets that they yes. use. And uh, yeah, basically they have the PCB substrate. That's the whole rectangle that you see there with the metal uh, border on it. That's basically, do I have a mouse? Can I use a mouse here? Let's see. Hello. Yes. So basically, so, yeah. indeed, the, the, this. And then they place like a, a, a base tile on, uh, on top of the PCB. So that's how they solder it uh, uh, to the uh, PCB. Exactly. And the base tile receives the other tiles. So the, uh, the tiles are above in the schematic. Yeah. And uh, you have the, the, the bigger tile in the middle. That's the SOC tile yeah. where there's a lot of stuff uh, placed. Yes. Also the MPU, for example. But also there's two low power E cores. Uh, yeah, these are at the top. Yeah. Uh, memory controller. And uh, that, yeah, media. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the media else? engine is, for example, to do like video playback. So yep. video decoding is there, and uh, then you have the the, the more power-consuming tiles, like the the CPU compute tile that's on the right. Yeah. And on the left, you have the graphics tile, and that's the integrated yep. uh, Arc uh, graphics. Exactly. Yeah. So even if you're uh, doing video uh, encoding or decoding, it doesn't need to power up the graphics tile anymore. So that's that's one of the benefits of this uh, architecture. I mean, honestly, if if I look at the schematic, it's it, this is reminding me a lot of like in a desktop of what a motherboard does and what it yeah, houses. Mm -hmm, let's say it is, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's a graphics card plugged in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. And there's yeah. this is the CPU, let's say, right? So this yeah, is yeah. like actually the CPU there. Uh, just the I/O tile, and I'm not sure what what I could compare this to. Um, oh, that could be the chipset, right? So, yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, there's like yeah. PCI Express lanes and USB and stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, but yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting new direction, obviously. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And so for, for especially for Intel, it's a departure of their uh, so the, previous yeah. architecture, the, the let's say. The stacking of their dies that that is not new, but. Uh, Intel is uh, already doing that for some years, and they call it Foveros technology. So yes. that's how they interconnect the, the tile layers uh, together mm -hmm. and make fast interconnects between them. Um, so when I saw something about the Foveros, I, I what what struck me is it looked me, looked to me like more like the the ball soldering. Uh, that's what the like. The, yeah, the but even smaller. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's like really tiny yeah. indeed. So it looked really uh, amazing. Yeah, somewhat familiar but impressive at the same yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah, AMD does something similar with the X3D uh, CPUs yeah. with the uh, extra cache on it. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. And I mean, it makes sense that we're all going in this direction. And in the end, uh, the big benefit, obviously, is for the consumer, for people who buy the product, yeah, because yeah. They, they, in the end, get you know more uh, more performance, uh, better functioning chips, uh, yeah. products. Also for say. Intel, for efficiency in, in, yeah. uh, in cost and, and manufacturing, because you don't need to make like an I.O. chip in, in a very costly, uh, expensive, high-end uh, process. So you, you can outsource that to a cheaper process and, and, and benefit uh, uh, the cost there. Mm. And not only that, they, they also have more flexibility now. So they can put like a, a, a more powerful integrated graphics in, in a laptop. And maybe uh, for the for the, uh, the upcoming desktop chips, uh, they, they put a, a simpler one in that's yeah. just there. Uh, for troubleshooting, because most people will just plug in a graphics card anyway. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't see much uh, uh, desktop uh, i9 uh, computers that don't have a graphics card. So. No, indeed. Yeah. yeah. No, indeed. Like uh, integrated graphics makes less sense there, indeed. Yeah, it's just for troubleshooting when your graphic card yep. has a problem, then you unplug it and see if the integrator works. Yeah. So yeah. And before the, the, the video decoding encoding was still there. So yeah, if you didn't have a graphics in, in the chip, then the video uh, and uh, the quick sync would also not be there. Mm -mm. And this time it's uh, in the SOC. Indeed. Um, yeah, maybe so. Uh, let me let me just switch away, and then maybe we'll first look at the uh, 
because a lot of people were talking about the graphics chip as well, and I know mm -hmm. that's a little bit further down the line. Uh, let me see. That this would be the one. I, I haven't benchmarked the, the integrated graphics um, uh, fully yet. No, but there's a, a little bit here um, with yeah, video the, transcoding. Is, yeah, because it's a creator laptop, I would also exactly. uh, wanted to do yeah. like video enco uh, encoding or transcoding. Yeah. And then especially on the AV1, because that's a more harder workload than uh, than, uh, for example, the 265 or the H264. Exactly. Um, and what you can see there is on the top. Well, I mean, you, you, you explained it. You did the test, so. Uh, OK, <laughs> yeah, well, uh, you, I just uh, took a 4K uh, handbrake video and then encoded it uh, or transcoded it to a 1080p uh, video um, with uh, the quality setting at 22, and then uh, just let it run um, and choose different um, uh, encoding profile. So the, the uh, top one is uh, based uh, that the CPU is doing all the work, and you see uh, it takes uh, quite a while because my I think my uh, film or the video I used was uh, 30 minutes long or something, and normally it's about 24 frames per second. So <laughs> uh, uh, encoding that one uh, took longer than the video. Yeah. No. So I had to wait a little bit. But the, the, the integrated graphics was quite powerful and was uh, um, almost as good as the 4080 inside this laptop. Yeah. So it, to be yeah. fair, the only thing that's missing, <coughs> because I mean, the, the top one is the actual CPU as well that's in this laptop. Yeah. So it's not like even a last no, no, gen no, or no, anything. No, it's no. the exact same CPU. Yeah. The CPU obviously is not really meant for this kind of workload. So that's also why it's, it's a lot slower at this yeah. at the AV1. I, I still use that benchmark also for to compare CPUs because a very heavy benchmark, yes. right? So yeah. So the only thing I would like uh, as well to see, and I'm not sure, is you know how, for example, an Iris XE of the, the last generation would have compared. Uh, uh, it would obviously be somewhere in between, uh, I no, guess. I can tell you it's the same as the top one because oh, really? it doesn't support AV1. Oh, it, okay. Well, then so, there you go. Yeah. Okay. So the 40 series uh, AMD, yeah. uh, uh, sorry, the 40 <laughs> series NVIDIA yes. and uh, the new AMDs, they, they support the, the AV1 encoding. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and now also the integrate uh, and of course the Arc uh, yes. GPUs, the the, the uh, desktop ones, um, yeah. <coughs> and now also the Arc integrated will also support AV1 exactly. uh, video encoding uh, yeah. accelerated by QuickSync. So this was a quick test uh, that, that obviously we don't yeah, have yeah. The, this sample for very long, but uh, and yeah. I'm not sure. For example, in in I don't know like 3D performance like gaming, it will probably be a bit different. But we well, wanted to we'll show we'll at least already a little bit of. Yeah. Uh, because this this was quite impressive to us. Uh, yeah. Obviously, a, a 4080 is considered very powerful uh, as a dedicated graphics chip. Uh, so as you, as you can see, then if the um, uh, the, the integrated Arc uh, GPU already gets at least somewhere close to that uh, 4080 performance with this specific task, that already looks quite powerful yeah. and quite impressive. Uh, actually, this is not the integrated graphics. This is the SOC doing it. Yeah. Okay. Fair <laughs> so yeah. 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 But it's it's like the dedicated that, arc chip uh, in the. Uh, I, I didn't focus on on the integrated graphics and and, and gaming because this no. is a, a creator laptop yes. and no. um, uh, also it takes a lot of time to test. But next week there's also kind of a topic related mm. to integrated graphics, but. I'll let Michiel do that one. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, yeah. But I will, will be behind the scenes testing for him. So Obviously. Uh, yeah. I, so. You can be sure Rud is mostly behind yeah. the scenes of and, our and technical stuff. This laptop stuff. has a 4080, so why would you yeah. be uh, uh, gaming on, on the integrated? Indeed, if you yeah. have the option. I mean, but uh, it, like it's more for, you know, just out of interest, like how yeah, good it, is this Definitely, arc, yes, uh, yes. Uh, uh, we already saw exactly. the, the reviews of the, the Meteor Lake and the integrated graphics is uh, quite impressive. Uh, Especially compared to the last generation yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. Uh, so that's again, like that's a big step up, guys. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's pretty much the, the TLDR. Uh, right. Let's go to another fun part, uh, which we almost skipped. Skipped. Wait. Uh, here we go. Did we skip something? No, no, no. We almost because I. Uh, okay. I kind of had to get back uh, to this one. Oh, okay. Had to, had to jump a few slides, but yes. AI, because as you AI. mentioned, right, there's uh, AI, it's in the name of the product, um, and that's because of multiple reasons. Um, one, hardware based because of the Intel Meteor Lake having an, uh, the NPU, the dedicated AI chip, let's say. Uh, but also because we have, uh, with this laptop, we will uh, offer uh, some uh, AI solutions as well. What kind of solutions? Well, there's two. 
I mean, it says it on the right there as well. So there's the MSI AI engine, and there's AI artist. Now, one of those we can actually show you uh, during this live stream, and we'll uh, demo a little bit. Uh, it's still an early demo, but you know, we'll, we want to show it to you guys. Well, we're, we were quite excited, and it's quite fun. Uh, but first, the AI engine. Um, and so basically, the AI engine is a, uh, let's say, it has multiple modes. So as you can see on the top right there, uh, there's a, a work mode, meeting, gaming, and entertainment. And so what it will do is it will automatically, uh, when you have this enabled, and I'll go to the next slide, basically here you can see it's just a simple toggle. You can say AI engine on or off. Um, and so this will automatically detect uh, what you are doing, let's say, and then it will try to optimize the system uh, without you having to touch anything. Uh, so in the background, it will optimize the system uh, performance for whatever task that you are doing and whatever um, application you are running. And so it will try to determine if it falls within one of these four categories. Uh, and then it will, will apply that mode if you have this enabled. So as you can see there, you can, uh, yeah. yeah. This it's will a be one in the future activation. MSI Center, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. As a feature, yeah. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> so that's pretty nice. Um, and then it will, yeah, it will toggle one of those modes, indeed. Um, I've seen a video that oh. it also shows what kind of modes it switched to, but I'm not sure if that's a marketing part or... Uh, also not sure. So yeah. the next slide we will get to in a minute. I haven't seen it working yet, but they, they're working on that uh, exactly. to make it uh, exactly. to the market. And so for the, for the other thing, the AI artist, which I'm going to switch back to, so on the, on the bottom right there, AI art, artist, as you can see, we actually have a, a working demo of that. So on the laptop uh, that Rude has in front of him. Mm -hmm. So we will actually, uh, let's see, can you, uh, do you have it hooked up? And, uh, uh, it's hooked up, yeah. Yeah. So then we'll go to the capture. Here we go. So this oh yeah. is well, maybe the you can actually first show, yeah, first show some uh, some stuff there. Uh, so he's got uh, HW info open. Yeah, uh, just to show you what's inside. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And you can see it's a Ultra 7165H. Yeah. Um, the H CPU used to be uh, the 45 watt CPU, but with Meteor Lake, uh, it has changed to the 28 watt. Uh, yes. So there's no. P skew anymore because the previous uh, generation P skew was the 28 watt skew, uh, but the uh, the H has replaced that and also covers the P skews now. Uh, of course, you can uh, boost it much higher than the 28 watts, and also in this chassis it will reach around 80 to 90 watts in peak, and yeah. uh, uh, usually that's done with a multi-core workload like for example Cinebench or 3D rendering, um, uh, 7-zip or stuff like that. Video encoding on the CPU you can also do that. Yeah. And of course uh, uh, it also has the 4080 laptop. This is literally called 4080 laptop now. Exactly. Yeah. And you can see it has not one, three, three GPUs. Exactly. Well actually it, it's two GPUs and uh, this is the art graphics. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It has uh, uh, 128 execution units according to this software. I'm sure it will uh, be correct. And the GPU number one, that's actually the, the neural media, processing the unit. The NPU it neural it, yeah, processing yeah. unit. That has eight execution units, as you can see. Just, yeah. I mean, again, mm -hmm. I'm not sure how, what that says exactly because no, they function no. completely no. differently. Uh, but, I yeah. think it's meant uh, you can compare it with other Intel NPUs, and yeah. if they have more execution units or exactly. higher clock frequency, you can have some idea of what, what you can expect. Mm -hmm. Of course, two uh, SSDs in RAID, or yeah, um, it was configured as RAID, so I, I use it as RAID. Uh, but I'm not sure if it will come in this queue or. Indeed. in this configuration, in this setup. It can, yeah, it can yeah. be different. Memory uh, is uh, 5600, uh, 2 times 16 gigabytes in total, 32. And yeah, that's about it, uh, I can on see. On our model. Yeah. Oh, yeah. maybe, the, uh, did you also show the cores there on the left? Because that was quite funny. Normally, you'd have P cores and E cores. I mean, that, that already happened oh, a yeah, couple yeah. years ago. Yeah, the, um, the P cores are, yeah, six P cores. Yeah. Uh, 12 threads. A 12 threads, so it has hyper-threading on the P cores, and yes. it has eight plus two E cores. Yes. So two E cores are of the low power efficient exactly in the SOC, so it even shows it in the in the in the yeah. uh, mouse over uh, thingy, and that has in total ten threads, so they are uh, not multi-threaded. Exactly. They are one note about that is I uh, I tried to do my homework on this as well. Is that mm -hmm. uh, one of the things I uh, I was told, and maybe you can confirm or deny this, Ruud, is that in previous uh, generations. 
uh, workloads would start on the P cores and yeah. then would be moved off to the E cores as necessary. Yeah. But with mm -hmm. Meteor That's Lake, true, yeah. apparently it's the other way around. So actually, yeah. applications will open on the actual the low power E cores. Low power E cores, and then exactly, scale and up. then yeah. be moved, and it's basically moving up the chain instead of down yeah. it. Uh, I think and they that do would, it that because, should theoretically yeah. make it more power efficient. Let's say. Yeah, that means they, they can uh, uh, leave the, the the CPU compute tile off as long as possible yes. until they're necessary. They will be fired up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I mean, you do it the other way around, then you can offload the SOC, but you don't want to do that because no. it doesn't benefit you. Exactly. Yeah. So so wise. theoretically, that could quite uh, benefit the uh, power usage and yeah. uh, battery lifetime. Let's say quite yeah. a lot. Uh, I, I did a very brief test on a different laptop than this one, and that was a battery test. Uh, just playing a local video file, so just a video from uh, f from the desktop, yeah. uh, so the SSD, and uh, then it could run quite long on that uh, battery charge compared to the previous. But it's not an apples to apples comparison. That's no. why I didn't make a, a, a benchmark graph out of it. Yeah. But yeah. It, it looks very promising. And it's that's just because, initial impressions. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's because the the SOC is the only tile there, maybe the I.O. tile as well, yeah. it, it, that is active and the, the compute tile and the, the graphics tile should be turned off. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I have also r uh, um, watched uh, Jared's tech uh, uh, review and obviously. he said, well, if you do it with YouTube, then yeah. it, it, it doesn't give you much longer battery time yeah. and that might be that some compute tile or even the, the, the graphics tile is active. Well, the SOC tile, I mean, as we saw in the, in the schematic, uh, uh, things like Wi-Fi and networking is on the uh, SOC tile. So yeah. it will have to, I mean, if you're, if you're doing YouTube, it will have to do networking as well. So yeah. obviously it cannot turn that off completely. No, but uh, uh, YouTube web page might also have uh, scripts in the background and stuff yep. like that. So yep. that could be waking up the, Even the, more the computer stuff. tiles or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not sure how that works, but uh, yeah, yeah. The, the local video playback file that that should to do, potentially yeah. be yeah a scenario yeah. where that hope yeah, yeah. could potentially work. But um, uh, as Intel showed it in in their in their marketing, that it should also work with just browsing the internet. Yeah, uh, but uh, it depends also on the website because there could be a lot of active stuff in your website and that would fire up uh, CPU yep. uh, tiles and yeah stuff exactly. like that. Yeah. Um, so. so Corky still has a, a couple of questions, which I mm -hmm. think are quite interesting. Uh, uh, first one is the uh, is the MSI AI engine a firmware thing or a Windows thing? Just curious about Linux compatibility. I'm not sure, uh, Ruth. I'm not sure if you know the details about the AI engine. That, that's the uh, profiles thing. I, I think it's a software because it's yeah. it's, it's like a um, an add-on or a feature you can yeah. download and install in MSI Center. So yeah, yeah, th yeah. that's definitely something Windows only. Yeah. Exactly. So we, then we haven't got a MSI yeah. Center for Linux. So exactly. Yeah. 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 And yeah. then. Uh, the rate configuration you mentioned, do you know if it's software or hardware rate? Uh, this one is the Intel VMD rate, so that is basically Virtual? a firmware rate. So it's uh, in between software and hardware rate, oh, I would say. Yeah. Okay. I'm I mean, guessing? software rate that would be configured in the OS itself, yeah. and uh, the firmware rate is basically configured in the BIOS. Because yeah. mm. mm -hmm. indeed, I, I guess Quarky is a, an avid Linux user. Uh, judging by <laughs> these questions, yeah, but th this is a pre-production sample yeah. that they configured with with RAID, and uh, yeah. maybe maybe it will come in, in also uh, in production uh, samples. We but don't know. It's also possible that the production sample just have one SSD, yeah. and you can add your own uh, yeah. later. I guess it also depends yeah. on the SKU, right? Some might have yeah, two yeah, SSDs yeah. in there, the other yeah. just one. Oh, we, we saw with the, the, the high-end gaming machines that most of them had RAID configured, so they yeah. had two or three. SSDs even in RAID, so uh, that's the GT, and it's called now is just a Titan. So the GT the name is not uh, being used anymore. No. But we have multiple Titans now, so yeah. so the high end is now Titan 18, and yeah, they they will probably have two or three uh, SSDs in RAID. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe this is too technical a question, but I do think it's it, it sounds interesting for by uh, Pandorian Pandorian Gray. Uh, I I don't really have the answer, but maybe Ruth has. Uh, what are your thoughts about Intel no longer hyperthreading in the next generation of CPUs and going to container units instead? Will it be as big a paradigm shift as going to P and E cores? I'm not exactly sure. That's the next generation of CPUs. Yeah. I'm guessing you mean desktop CPUs or? Uh, I think the next. Desktop CPUs will be very similar as as this Meteor Lake. Yeah. Uh, also the tile-based thing, but yeah, how I'm many not cores sure, they're, they're gonna be, or 
uh, hyper-threaded or not, um, I, yes. uh, I don't have the information yet. No. Yeah. And I'm probably, if I w would have, I was probably not able exactly. to uh, share that. Yeah. Yeah. But so I, luckily, I don't have it. Exactly. But <laughs> suffice to say, uh, I mean, there's a lot of interesting stuff going on. Uh, and and oh, we'll definitely. Have to see, yeah, right? Yeah. So the thing is, it's a shakeup. And a shakeup yeah. usually means that, yeah, sure, there, there might be some stuff happening along the way that, you know, yeah. some stuff works, the, others, the other yeah. stuff doesn't work quite yet. But in the end, things get better and, and uh, you know, you get some improvements out of it. So yeah. that's always nice. Um, Okay, a lot of discussion about RAID. Uh, NXEO, yeah, uh, uh, who is the best between Intel Core Ultra 9 versus Intel i9-4900HX? I don't know. Um, we, we only have the, yeah. this Core Ultra i... Uh, <coughs> not even i. Yeah. Uh, I still have it in my system. Uh, yeah, Core, Core Ultra 7. So uh, we, we can't do a comparison. Uh, but I'm sure there will be uh, you know benchmarks and stuff yeah. out uh, that, that show you that. Well, what I've seen so far from the Ultra 7 is that it, it scales up to a point of like 100 watts and and then it seems to yeah, not scale much higher than that. Uh, it seems to level off uh, a little bit if you yeah. look at the graph. So it looks like the Ultra 7 is designed to be below 100 watts. Yeah. And up to the HX CPUs, you can even go up to 200 watts if you have the cooling. Yeah. Uh, so if you have a thick uh, chassis. Uh, and you have a 4900 HX in it, then you can yeah, probably use that 200 watts to uh, gain extra performance. So, um, yeah, if you have the power brick and the cooling, yeah, uh, yeah. it will scale much higher and it will probably also uh, perform much higher. It wouldn't be two times the performance, but it will be a lot more than, uh, than, than the, uh, the Ultra 7 we have today. Yeah. Yeah. Um, NRT and Tikithera, I'm actually not sure. So he's asking, why are all the creator laptops shipping with GeForce rather than Quadro GPU? Uh, it's not just an MSI thing, but I'm wondering what the reason is. What we do have the, uh, it's not qu called Quadro anymore, no. but it's yeah. RTX A, and now it's also quadru uh, RTX Ada. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's a bit of confusing names, but yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we do still have those with uh, workstation uh, chips, yeah. uh, sorry, workstation laptops. Exactly. But, um, uh, for the creation part, we, we, we still stick with the uh, uh, more affordable uh, RTX ones. Yeah. yeah. So it is to keep the, the, the total price, let's say the total package, yeah. somewhat mm -hmm. affordable. So you're not really in, in the yeah. like very high um, the cost range for, yeah. for, for high end uh, you, you, you companies. Pay a, you pay a premium for the, the yeah. yeah for the quadro parts yes. or, or let's call it quadro parts yeah. uh, for yeah. all time's sake, um, because also it needs to be certified with a lot of uh, software and stuff. Exactly. So uh, Quarky, actually, the, yeah. uh, you're pretty much on point there, at least yeah. as far as we know. Um, it's a cost, a cost yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. because mm -hmm. the cost Definitely. gap yeah. with the, uh, let's say, regular <coughs> uh, GeForce RTX GPUs is, is quite big. Um, and so for, for some uh, you know, companies, or, or if you have uh, your own company and you're a creator, it might be worth it. You, you, you might yeah. make that money back quite soon if, you, if you're you know, way more productive because of that. Um, but still, like the initial cost is is quite high, mm -hmm. um, so yeah. But it's still there. Yeah. Yeah. There was also one question from Quarky. It's already scrolled oh, up. Oh yeah. But, uh, <coughs> yeah. W with the Intel uh, RST, you do need a driver when you install Windows. So uh, when Windows installs or s when you, the setup runs from a stick or whatever you how you call it, um, you need to provide uh, the RST driver, the F6 uh, driver. Oh okay. Uh, F6 it. is uh, basically the Windows 7. Uh, you need to do F6 and then insert a floppy with a driver <laughs> to, to uh, load the storage driver. Otherwise, you uh, would not have access to your hard drives or SSDs. Mm. But it's an old thing, but still uh, uh, required uh, today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But right. that was, uh, we were uh, going to the AI artist, right? Yes, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's very early. Yes, and, uh, we have to preface this indeed. Don't expect miracles from this one yet. It's no. still a better one. And yeah. Also, yeah. Uh, it, this it isn't the finished product. This yeah. is more like a, a tech demo preview thing. Um, and, and that's a beautiful thing with AI anyway, with, yeah. with software in general, but AI especially, is that you know uh, they, they improve over time. So you can expect a lot of things to, to yeah. change, be, you know, become better. So this is really a bare bones version at the moment. But we, we already had quite a lot of fun uh, playing yeah. around with this. <laughs> yeah. We did. Yeah. We did, yeah. Let me do it like this. Then you see AIR, oh, like this. That's better, yeah. Yeah. So 
Uh, that's also why it can take a little bit of time. You know what? While it's loading, we will do another giveaway because it's oh, time okay, anyway. Okay. Oh well, it just finished anyway. Um, well, I promised you guys now. Yeah, so, I'll do a uh, giveaway. Yeah, we'll do a we'll do a quick giveaway. Um, so uh, if you still uh, haven't participated, go to the link in the <laughs> Twitch or YouTube chats. Does the laptop have Skynet protection? Yeah. I don't know. You can you can you can answer that one. Uh, I haven't seen any Terminators yet. So not yet. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah. no Terminators okay. bundled with this one yet. Yeah, maybe later. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, maybe later indeed. We'll, we'll see uh, what we can do. Uh, we, I'm not sure we've, we've got the licensing part figured out yet with uh, the Terminators. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, uh, let me draw another winner for Assassin's Creed Mirage. Um, we'll have a couple of more winners later on during the live stream as well. Um, and our next winner is called, oh god, how am I going to, okay, well actually, okay, it, it seemed quite long, but it's a Raj creation team, congratulations, Raj creation team, uh, we'll send the code out to you in the coming days as well, uh, we hope you have, you'll have fun playing the game, um, assess Creed Mirage, so yeah, we'll give away a couple more codes later on during the live stream, uh, so you can still participate and have a good chance of winning, um, let me see, yeah, we're going to the capture, here we go, yes, so AI artist, guys. AI artist, yeah, um, it, it's very early, uh, I downloaded it yesterday, so I uh, only had limited time to, to play with it, but yeah. it, it has yeah, already some uh, stable diffusion or uh, AI generative imaging uh, that it can do, so uh, you just put like text in and uh, it generates a, a prompt. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's the prompt and the text to image uh, AI generation. That's yeah. basically what it does. So you can, at the top, you see a couple of optimizers there. So there's yeah. PyTorch, Xformers, and uh, TensorRT. Uh, the, we, they tell us that TensorRT is recommended uh, because then it really makes use of the uh, 4080 GPU, let's say, the yeah. NVIDIA mm -hmm. algorithm. Um, yeah. PyTorch uh, should work with uh, RTX 30 series, um, so a little bit uh, older GPUs. Yeah. And then Xformers is somewhere in between where it, it offers a bit more, um, let's say, uh, options or plugins that you know you can change the style. You, you see a drop down there. Currently, yeah. it's unavailable, uh, or a plugin. So basically, you can say I don't know, like a certain art style or something. You can you can you know have certain plugins there that can influence the result. Um, not sure if, if people here in the chat uh, are familiar with um, you know things like stable diffusion or, or um, what's the other one called again. Mid journey, uh, that kind of thing. But um, yeah, so you can, uh, the quantity there basically means, uh, you know, how much results, how many results it will generate for you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you can choose one, four, nine, or 16. Um, not sure why it says nine instead of eight. That's an odd thing. Uh, I mean, if you're, if you're going if for. If you have a square, then you can do nine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, true, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my OCD was triggered there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I think you expected one, eight, four, right? eight, sixteen. You know, that would be uh, more, more. Then, then two was missing. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> and then the ratio. You can obviously you can uh, uh, say which you know what the ratio. So we're, we're sticking with one by one. So just a yeah, square. Basically. A square. Yeah. That, that would fit in the preview window nicely. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Um, and the variation. And not sure about that. Yeah, there's all kinds of things. I mean, like I said, you know, we, we didn't, we have had very limited time to play around with this uh, yesterday. Uh, the seed we're not using at the moment, not a specific seed, so we're going to get wildly different results. Mm -hmm. uh, and the steps, we haven't actually figured out what <laughs> if that makes uh, any kind of difference here. If you add more steps, it will take longer. Yeah, but the result <laughs> is not like you, you, we were expecting. Maybe it will be, you know, high resolution or something, or like more refined or anything. But it doesn't really appear no. that way at the moment. Again. It's uh, it's still it's in, early, in, early. It's yeah. like an early access. Well, not even yeah. access, but like a very early preview. Um, so yeah, in in the final result, it might be a bit different. Th there's al already a prompt yeah. Uh, pre yeah preloaded or whatever. Uh, I can just press generate and see what happens. Yeah, I've done it before, but <laughs> it, it generates each time a new one or different yeah. one. So exactly. Um, and I, I mean, some of them are really nice. Some are really weird as well. Yes. So it's it's a bit of a mixed bag at the moment. Yeah. And this is what it comes up with. Yeah. So this is like a, an overview basically, and then you get uh, yeah, each the, of them. Yeah. The bigger images. Yeah. yeah. So it's a mix of like a cyberpunk neon style and some. Yeah, but that was elements. also in the prompt, right? So yeah. The yeah. Cyberpunk city, cyberpunk art, retro futurism, crisp pixel, perfect, yeah. insane details. Yeah. 
masterpiece. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's uh, realistic 3D. Yeah. But well, this sounds like an advertisement from uh, 2005 from Amazon. Yeah, I know, yeah. yeah. It would yeah. be like it's just copied straight from a, from a folder. But <laughs> what should I put in? I yeah, mean, so guys, you, you can, can give you have some... any suggestions? Uh, yeah, you, you can give some suggestions if you want. No, nothing lewd, guys. <laughs> yeah. Just just saying it, you know, up front. Uh, uh, should, we're not going to do I any, keep, oh, any what controversial I shall do stuff. Is at the moment, the, the, the LAN cable is still plugged in. So let me show you it's unplugged and uh, yeah. even the desktop can show you that there's no internet at the moment. Oh, okay, yeah, I was gonna yeah, yeah it's unplugged. Exactly. There's, there's only the uh, and, HDMI. And the Wi-Fi is not connected? No, you can... Uh, uh, wait, oh, that's... Maybe I can show you like this. It's available, but yeah. not connected. Yeah. Uh, maybe I can pull up the network uh, sharing thing. Not connected. Yeah, give me a not moment, I'll, I'll make it, there we go. So yeah. you can actually see. I'm not, not trying to fool anyone. Yeah, exactly. I also tried it uh, away from the LAN cable as well. <laughs> but we need a prompt yeah. and then. So there's there's already a data set that, oh, a that red came with chubby this. chubby dragon is on the beach. Okay, let's do that. A red chubby dragon. Chubby okay. dragon. Uh, yeah, yeah. dragon. But Don't dragon forget the I chubby like part. On the beach, right? Yeah, yeah is on the beach, sorry. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not sure what kind of thing it, you know, the, the data set it has, so it really is, is a lot yep. of dependent on that apparently. Um, so I'm not sure, you know, some, some stuff it might not have exactly. Oh, it does know Lucky. Yeah, 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 yeah. it does know, it know ooh. Well, This is what it comes up with. Yeah, well, you know, close enough. I mean, I like the top right one. That one looks adorable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is definitely a dragon. Yep. yep. Uh, this one's cute, yeah. Uh, this is really cute, yeah. yeah. Really nice. I mean, this is, you know, lucky on his Chinese uh, New Year's <laughs> holiday, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, don't, I don't know if it, okay. Uh, okay, let's try this one. Banana Lucky Dragon Scale Core Ultra Intel. I'm not sure what, what it comes. Banana? Banana? Banana. Yeah, Lucky. Oh. Lucky? I'm not sure if, the, if, if AI knows that Lucky is a dragon, but hey. Probably dragon? Not. Dragon? Yeah. Scale? Scale? Yeah. Uh, core? Core? Yeah. Ultra? Ultra. <laughs> <laughs> and Intel. Intel. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see what it comes yeah, up with. No, it, it, yeah, we'll, give it, a, we'll give it a whirl. But here you, here you see, it's like, you know, this is, you know, what it can do. <laughs> 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 I love the third one. <laughs> that was great. So here you go, right? It's, uh, yeah, this is okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, yeah, this I is mean, this is banana. brilliant, right? We, yeah. Nobody came, came to this conclusion yet. Like, okay, what if we use banana slices as a, a, a CPU thermal compound? Yeah. <laughs> or I'm substrate. sure somebody tried. Know. I'm sure, but, I'm sure. Yeah, it's a banana, <laughs> banana CPU, guys. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so there you go. I mean, that's just, yeah. Yeah. But uh, if you do the steps, like, uh, a lot longer, then it oh, just takes more time, but it generates something different. But yeah. So each each uh, a picture will take roughly around. <laughs> That's a sweet thermal seconds. solution. <laughs> sweet it is. <laughs> Not sure if it's effective. <laughs> Banana cores. <laughs> oh. All right. So that's one. I, I, does that actually mean anything, the, 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 the character on the CPU? Okay, we'll see it in a minute. I, I get the feeling that it, it struggles it, a bit with text. It, text is di difficult. Yeah. Faces and fingers. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. That seems to be difficult. Yeah. Also, it looks like this is... Uh, in its current form. Yeah. yeah. It looks like this is not doing the same quality as, for example, Mid Journey is doing. So, yeah. No, indeed. I also tried the, the Open Vino. Uh, plug-in for GIMP. Um, there's, there was a page on GitHub and uh, also uh, promoted by Intel. They said they have the Open Vino toolkit available so people can uh, make plugins for, for all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Not sure what this is. So. <laughs> it's all bananas, right? I mean, but yeah. Yeah, this Th is this a might bit more, be uh, banana yeah. cores, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is bananas, but yeah, uh, true. Weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't really get this. Well, one. yeah, the prompt was also a bit weird, so. Exactly. But <laughs> hey, it, it, maybe we can do uh, the one that we had yesterday, the uh, cyberpunk grandma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one was yeah, really yeah, funny yeah. as well, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cyberpunk grandma. 
There we go. Let's try that. Yes. Oh, With, I did. Uh, no, don't worry. 200 uh, steps 200 is fine. Steps. That's a lot uh, of steps for grandma, just, but she's yeah. cyberpunk. She can handle it. Um, anyway, but yeah, I mean, and again, like, guys, this is very early stuff. So, uh, you know, maybe the data yeah. set will be updated as well. So uh, things will completely change. Um, yeah. It, maybe it's it, using an older version of, of things like yeah. stable diffusion as well, which will be updated later on. Um, uh, I showed it to one of the creators here in the office, and he said, well, it, this is, looks like a little bit like mid-journey, like two years ago. Yeah. And also had trouble with, with faces and fingers and text. Text is still a challenge for also for mid-journey. Yeah. But, uh, um, yeah, um, th this is just a beginning, and uh, it probably will evolve quicker than, than we know. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, we can we can add the uh, the Second Amendment if you. I mean, I'm not American, but we can yes, add the Second Amendment later on. Uh, fill an X. Add a shotgun or something. You know, she needs to be armed. Okay. So I see this. Cyberpunk is a, is a dangerous world. Yeah. So uh, some grandma in pajamas or something. Yeah, something uh, like that. I I'm mean, if that's sure. on is the that left, is it, it's more like a, a grandmazilla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Robocop grandma. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I mean, this. I come on, right? This yeah. is cool. That's that's what kind of headphone is that? I don't know. It's futuristic. Futuristic. It's right? cyberpunk. Uh, looks like a broken elevator. Uh, yeah, or that, or like a. I don't know. Maybe she's she's heading into the into the hospital, or I'm not sure. Anyway, <laughs> looks looks a bit weird. Uh, yesterday they were even weirder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, if you if you if you do it again, then maybe you need oh, like, yeah, to decrease the enough. steps. Yeah, I have less steps, so it will be fast. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, this is the thing, right? You you do it again, it will generate yeah, completely, completely new things. Yeah, completely different. Yeah. Yeah. So every time it, but as you can see at the at the top uh, right there, uh, it it actually tells you the seed. Um, I mean, here's just the grandma looking at cyberpunk buildings. This is wow. Yeah, that's I, a grandma mech suit. Wait. No, one, yeah. This one, yeah. What the hell? All right. Uh, I think grandmas always have pink hair, so yeah. You short hair could as be. well, right? Uh, <laughs> we could also use this. Oh yeah. As, uh, and yeah. 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 Oh. And then say we, we want something more like that. Yeah, but do we need to change the prompt or not? That's the uh, question. I right? don't know. I don't, I don't think so. No, you I'll can just try more of the same. Or? Yeah. Probably it will it will make variations. variations there you go. Yeah. See. So it, it basically makes variations based on uh, your okay. initial image. So you know yeah, she, she's looking a bit different really there. A face. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's probably why it's doing the back. Yeah. Because faces are hard. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean that figures. If if I know something's hard, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's yeah it's it's still in its infancy. But yes. yeah, this is what you can expect a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean this is uh, you know. Really nice, uh, and again, this is this is very early days, so uh, I'm I'm expecting this thing will will get a lot better. Uh, but uh, what piloting Voltron? Somebody oh God! Says. What yeah. is a Voltron? I have no idea. I Let, just let's see. It. Let's see if uh, let's do see I if, need to if, unplug if AI it? artist if it, knows what if a Voltron nudity is. Nudity or profanity? No, hopefully not. Okay. Voltron is that like a superhero, right? That's why probably it comes out with some superheroes there as well. Oh, she's going to conventions, man. Look at that. that like, especially oh, that one. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, there we go. Voltron. Yeah, yeah, it's this a, is uh, a transformer. That's not a... No. Uh, is, this, is this a grandma? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, it's uh, yeah, this, uh, it's really nice. Um, and just playing around with this, we could, you could easily fill like an evening's worth of entertainment. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes um, there's some ridiculous uh, output. But I mean, yeah. like, okay, so uh, can you can you try something like I don't know if you're if you're a student at a school and you need to hand in a paper and you want like some nice artwork on the front. So like what? Oh, I don't know. Um, um, what's a, what's a, a thing that you can do? Like, uh, uh, efficient efficient uh, b business or something like yeah like s say you have to hand in a report about like i don't efficient know running a business, business or something uh, efficient business running or manager or something like uh, you want you want to have like the you know the stock image of a Promotion. guy that's saying like mm -hmm. yeah i'm a businessman i'm doing really well something like no we're not going to do a unicorn pooping out of a rainbow <laughs> daniel <laughs> <laughs> we could 
I think it's it's more interesting than the efficient okay, well, business. Okay, one. efficient business business unicorn. <laughs> let's <laughs> okay. Let's the, let's do that. Let's do the poop later. I have later. no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Second one. <laughs> there we go. All right, not sure what that is. There we go. <laughs> yes. That looks efficient this to me. You look successful. Yeah. You know? Oh, this is more the, this, the this rainbow is, one. This yeah. is like, you know, this this belongs in a museum, man. Uh, let's do, what did it say? Unicorn? Uh, Unicorn. It cannot do, uh, Gigaram, it cannot do me as a, as a Terminator because it doesn't know who I am. It doesn't, like, we, we would have to uh, uh, feed it images of me to be able to do anything with that, but, uh, yeah. Oh, that's Rambo, sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure what a Rambo is. No. Oh, God. Yeah, let's try it. <sighs> Are you are you serious? <laughs> it looks very. It yeah, it's like that because like if you're talking about like pooping or you know defecating, it's it becomes like a an act, an organic this act or an something. And, and as you can see, the the um, AI at at least this one has a bit of trouble determining how that actually happens and what what that involves. So I think you you need to do like yeah. uh, I don't know maybe maybe make like a um, toast uh, toaster skyscraper or something like you know something that's really easy like uh, objects let's say toaster yeah like a toaster bread, bread toaster skyscraper I don't know like a, yeah skyscraper out of uh, that's a, a K S K yeah sorry yeah there you go yeah, I was already ahead yeah. in my mind I don't know something something simple for now. <laughs> oh god. I mean Yeah, this looks more <laughs> this looks more I like a printer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or or it only knows maybe one kind of toaster. Yeah, yeah. it could be. Yeah. Well, again, like it's We it's need more toaster samples in exactly. this. Exactly. It, yeah. It's deter what What's the hell this? is that <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. No, no, that's no, like no. an AC unit at the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay. But anyway, it's uh, you know it, it's not perfect yet, but it, it's getting there, you know. And and you can train like if you see like a direction that it's going that you like. Uh, and I like like uh, Inferno, like that's uh, like a generic one, like chef cooking food. Yeah. You know, then you're you're getting more into oh god, radio yeah, dragon yeah, heavy metal. I just metal. read it from uh, oh god. some Twitch uh, this? comment. I mean the the text it's kind of I mean okay. Hey, this looks a bit like uh, Metallica. Yeah, 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 probably. May, it may have some images of Metallica in there. Yeah, it is. But there's very um, mangled, but yeah. Yeah. Not sure who these guys are. Yeah. Uh, they're dog. Heavy mail. Heavy mail. But you were saying something like? Uh, uh, chef cooking food. Chef cooking food. Is there a command which will let it pull from an online data set? Uh, I'm not sure. I read somewhere no, it's edge-based. Uh, the idea for, for this software was that you could do it locally. Otherwise, yeah. if you're exactly. connected to the internet, you can just get a subscription to your favorite uh, AI. Exactly. But this looks not bad, I would say. That's not terrible, indeed. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Right, so if you're just looking for, I mean, he looks a bit too happy on the left. If you yeah, and oh, a bit this one as well. Mangled as well. I mean, the faces, and I mean, he has like a sword as a hand here. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think the first one was bad. <laughs> yeah, but the hands he, are also weird, right? Yeah, he looks yeah. a bit janky as well. But and hey, you know, he, he's holding. I don't know what he's holding. Vegetable or something. Yeah, that's not a tool. No, oh, well, no. <laughs> But I mean, you know, it's it uh, almost, almost got. got but you, you get the idea, right? And then uh, some other functionality, Ruud, you can maybe uh, point to as well on the bottom right there. So there's a couple of things you can do. There is, uh, yeah. uh, you know, open the safe folder. Yeah, that's basically, basically so, so where, where there you get all the results we generated so exactly. far. Exactly. So all your generated all. images. We yeah. we had to delete a few because we we did some uh, some some non -so, not so savory tests as well. Yeah, not um, safe for work. Well, we wanted to know if it was you know if it was supporting. Um, N not safe for work things, indeed. Um, <laughs> anyway, if um, it was censored or not, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. we, we re reported that as well. Uh, so you can import the Im image as reference. Uh, basically, that's. It, yeah. I guess that's the same as as uh, doing the seed number at the top right. Uh, yeah. So you basically will say, look, just take this image, or you can indeed like uh, you know indeed insert uh, a different image and say, look, 
I want and you I'm to have uh, this chef cooking food. Uh, so, so would it be chef lucky? Indeed, I'm, I'm wondering. Yeah, maybe we can try. It should throw it in the middle. Oh, oh God. Oh no, no. Oh no, God. No, 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 no. no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, this one at least looks a bit cheery. The rest is questionable. Uh, I, I think we fed it too much banana. <laughs> uh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Well, He's still I, yeah, in the okay. banana theme. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, this well, anyway. is an elephant, though. What? Yeah, it's I don't, not a yeah. dragon. I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, but anyway, uh, so you can do that, and then uh, the 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 bottom right. I mean, the function doesn't work uh, in the current no, not yet. No. in the current yeah. function yet. But there it says uh, generate layered P uh, PSD. So basically, uh, the AI actually you know uses multiple layers, maybe a background. Like if you if you specify that it needs to be I don't know in the Windows XP background, like you know the, like a, a nice yeah. meadow with some hills, some rolling hills, and a blue sky and stuff like that. Um, it will it will actually create a PSD file with different layers, so you can actually use the uh, sev separate components uh, in other visuals in other projects. So that's really nice. Yeah, yeah. Shall I show the the GIMP Open Vino plugin? Or yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, go for it. Yeah, basically, this is the uh, the part that Intel um, the Open Vino plugin. Uh, it's not only for, for graphics, but also for uh, uh, audio and other stuff. Yeah. Um, and there's also a Audacity, that's an audio editing program. Uh, you can do also some generative stuff there. Yeah, I have a slide about that in a minute. Like, there's indeed oh, a yeah, lot of apps right, already yeah. <coughs> that support it. So I saw, an, uh, I saw a slide about that, so I wanted to show you that as well later on. So it, it has different uh, functions, and stable <coughs> diffusion is just the same as we, we saw in uh, AI uh, artist, um, but this one can also use different uh, different devices uh, to generate uh, the text or yeah handle the text part. Um, I'm not sure about the UNet and the VAE uh, part, but you can select different things. Mm. Um, there is also one model, and if you change models, it also means you need to uh, now the low is load again. In the way. So I'm not doing that now. Can, but you, can you drag that menu down a little bit? Because it's actually being oh, sorry, the, yeah. yeah, the logo is blocking. Oh, I haven't. Yeah, yeah sorry. It's oh, okay, yeah. sorry. So there's only this one, or at least this one, is uh, supported with the NPU. So if you do NPU, you still need to do load models. So the NPU can handle the uh, certain parts. Yeah. So if you change device or change the model name, you need to load models again. Um, uh, the, the installation of this is very, yeah, uh, yeah it's Ify? not really easy, we would yeah, say. Yeah, exactly. So it's a bit janky still. It's not like yeah, you're running it's, it's a, very an installer early, early and it's done. Also, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, oh, there's still text in it. Donald Trump, uh, why, why, why Don't do Donald Trump. Do, make it Donald Duck or something. I don't know. So, okay. Something a little bit less controversial. Okay, sorry. I, I had no idea it was still in there. Uh, well, I, I mean, again, like it's in a presidential race, right? So let's not really get into that. But um, now the MPU is used, but yep. the output is not that helpful. Or right, so it's I actually, Tom's hardware had a, had a test like this already before, mm. and it, it shows much of the same performance uh, things as we also tested with a different kind of software. You'll have a slide uh, about that as well. So this takes a little bit longer, but yeah. Then uh, compared to using the 4080. Then using the AI artist with the 4080. Yeah. So this is apparently <laughs> Donald Duck. Yeah. In a Fortnite so, style. Yeah, but <laughs> if we do it with the other model, which I'm not able to use the the NPU anymore. All right. But I can use the the integrated graphics from Intel. It's an open Vino so supported by Intel and uh, I've tried it on uh, GPU 1 which is uh, the RTX 4080 but then it crashes so <laughs> mm. so Intel only at the moment I would say. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's uh, a good question Daniel and it, is there any copyright issues so if you use like Darth yeah. Vader or you know some some protected IPs let's say so that could be why it's struggling indeed. <coughs> it might not be allowed to actually show 
you know, something like Donald Duck or, you know, that's, that's an IP. And actually, you know, while talking about this AI anyway, we, we also had a lot of discussions and, and talks about it. It's very yeah. interesting and it's very promising and it can do a lot of cool stuff. I mean, look at that. that this, that's not bad, right? This looks really nice, this, actually. Yeah. Um, but, you know, indeed, like, is this, yeah. you know, is this art? And we see it with, with games as well. I think one of the big discussions right now is going on uh, with uh, PAL World. You know, it's a, a game uh, that came out, one of the, the most popular games at the moment. And it, it takes a lot of um, inspiration from, for example, from Pokemon uh, in terms of its you know, mechanics and, and you know, capturing animals. And, and it's, it's very similar in a lot of ways. It's not exactly the same, uh, but it also, and it takes a lot of cues from Ark Survival Evolved, Valheim, that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of mechanics coming into one. Um, and uh, there's, you know, a lot of people say, that it perhaps was some of it was generated by AI. I don't think so because the, um, uh, the, the 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 developers of that game would have been obligated to mention that and disclose that to Steam. Uh, that's in the rules. So if they haven't done that, then it's they're in trouble. Um, but it could be indeed that in the future, you know, you can you can use AI to generate things like that, like artwork or uh, you yeah. know assets for games or. Uh, yeah. You know, Videos, texts, yeah. music, even voices, right? We had a discussion that uh, yeah. James Earl Jones, you said, right? The, yeah. the voice actor for, uh, uh, among other things, Darth Vader. Um, yeah. You know, he, he basically uh, signed the rights to uh, his voice to, uh, I guess, then Disney, because they own the IP now. Yeah, uh, yeah. It used to be Lucas Arts. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, so that they, for future movies, they could actually use his voice and generate uh, new lines of yeah. dialogue in his voice, let's yeah. say. Uh, so that's really interesting as well. And it kind of pushes a lot of boundaries um, that yeah. we haven't had to really think about before. Because in, in the past, you, you, you know, a voice actor, for example, like James Earl Jones, uh, if he was going to do lines, he would actually have to speak them. And, and that's all you could use. You could, you could take different words from different recordings and you know, put them together. But that would be a bit janky in a lot of cases. But with AI, they can, it can actually you know, uh, make completely new dialogue without that person actually having to do the, the voice acting, let's say. And so there's a lot of things, um, uh, very interesting, that basically that's, that's a thing that couldn't be done before. And it also raises new questions about, is the, you know, is it legal also with the question asked uh, before as well, yeah. like uh, copyright issues, if you are creating art based on IPs, for example, I mean, is it then, is that a breach of IP or is it, you know, taking inspiration from and, and is that different from, for example, you creating something uh, that looks like an IP, uh, you know, something that's, that, that exists? Um, but yeah, a lot of in interesting questions. Um, and in the end, that's, it's more like a legal discussion, I guess, in a lot of, in a lot of ways. Because if you if you talk about you know the end result, let's say, hey, as long as it's good and if it's enjoyable, then you know I, I guess nobody cares if it's a, if if something is created by AI or if it's created by a person. Um, <laughs> at sharing of artwork, yeah, maybe. So many people lost jobs because of use of AI by big companies. I'm not a fan of it. So yeah, that's but that's another thing that you know it's it's like um, we had this uh, this. Uh, discussion or we talked about this before as well right it's, yeah. mm -hmm. this is something yeah. that it, yeah it's new uh, but it's also not as in the you know think about uh, job automation right yeah. um, or um, foot, uh, I think an interesting argument I heard as well is photography before photography you had people sketch artists right so people or painters right people got paid a lot of money to to make portraits and stuff like that and then photography came and those painters, at least, I don't say I don't want to say they they lost their job completely. They could still do some stuff, but like painting portraits was was you know less uh, suddenly less popular, um, and so this is something that happens every now and again that a new technology comes along, and it makes at least part of a job uh, largely redundant. It, it doesn't go away completely because even now you know people still paint. Um, occasionally, and, and uh, the great artworks, let's say, they're still worth a lot of money. Um, but, you know, it's, yeah, it's an interesting uh, um, 
discussion, uh, I guess. And we're going to have to we're going to have to figure it out because you know yeah. it, it's here and it's it's moving at a rapid pace. Yeah. Um, I'm just afraid that the, the legal system is not able to... Well, the legal system yeah, is always trailing, especially with as, when as it comes to technology, technology right? Yeah. I mean, we've seen how it, how it struggled to keep up with things like you know, on, online piracy and stuff like that. That took yeah. years for it to, to at least settle it somewhat. And even now, still, it, it's somewhat yeah, still a gray some area gray areas, sometimes. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, but it's, it's very interesting because, yeah, the, the technology is really pushing it forward. And like I said, you know, it's very promising in a lot of ways, so it, it makes potentially a lot of things easier to do um, and quicker. But I mean, it's a valid point when you say, yeah, I mean, a lot of people could lose their job, at least on the short term. Uh, but even with AI, I mean, there's still somebody that has to give input, like the, the prompt or, you know, that. Uh, and still people have to check the, the output of AI and, and see, okay, so which one do we, do we want to go with? Uh, and then refine it, for example. So there's yeah. still, I, I guess always some kind of job and, and uh, some kind of work still involved, but it might take a different shape. It might take a different form. Um, but yeah, it's a shakeup to be sure. Sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's also other functions inside, like super resolution. So if you if it has oh, yeah. generated an image, it can even uh, upscale it and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 So let's try that. Because this resolution was? Oh, it's kind of small. I'm not sure at, where it at says. At the bottom it says 2.4 megabytes, but I'm not, it's not the resolution. No, Maybe 512 on the left. by 5, 512. Is oh, the, does it say it there? Yeah. Let me that, that's the picture oh. it generates normally. Now it's uh, 248 by 248. Yeah. Right. 2048. <coughs> so 2048 by 2048. So that this is a picture we can uh, could use, right? Yeah. Um, there's also another function in inside this toolbox, and that's, uh, for example, the, uh, you can change the style. But oh, yeah. it wasn't that impressive because there were not the styles I was looking for. But okay. uh, the the um, the impainting also works. It's a little bit different. You need uh, to add a layer, or first add an alpha channel, then add a new layer. And then you have to make uh, on the oh layer group. Sorry, that's the wrong one. Delete layer group. Where is it? Just delete it. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Press the wrong one. New layer. All right. Here we go. Transparency. Yep. And then you have to make uh, use the brush and make white what you don't want to uh, use anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, where's the size? It's over here. Oh, that's a bit big. So let's try to make this go away. Not sure if it will work. Then select both layers. What you can do now is do in painting, and then it should. It should remove that part. Yeah. Mm. So that's what I tried to do, and yep. it's not that bad. It's yep. uh, uh, probably Adobe Photoshop can do that better, yeah. but yeah, it's uh, well, but it's not a finished product, workable. right? Yeah. It's also not a finished, and that's the thing about AI. It it can you can train it to become better at that yeah. kind of stuff. So you can you can teach it like okay, so I, I want to get rid of the noise there. Maybe yeah. on this on this other hand, you see, uh, you know, he only has three fingers or four, maybe, and a thumb. Yeah, and for and cartoons, some. that's fine. Eh? Exactly. So you can you can <laughs> do a lot of things. There you go. Yeah, but here's another ghost. Yep finger yeah 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 so zoomed in it's uh yeah you, you can still see the spot a little bit right yeah so but yeah it tries to yeah copy the pattern and yeah the mouth is also a bit weird but yeah mm -hmm. but still yeah not not too bad <coughs> so that's what you can do with with the open vino plugin but it's still very early beta mm. and yeah uh, probably this will also be in, in the Photoshop stuff. Uh, Photoshop also has a, uh, a version of it, uh, but there's also a lot of subscription base. So you just prompt to uh, Discord or another uh, website, and it will generate the picture for you. Exactly. And those usually generate nicer pictures, but it, it yeah. yeah you have to pay a monthly fee. Exactly. Yeah. 
It's subscription based, as you said. Yep. So yeah, I mean, yep. this is this is a bit more like a, like I said, right? This is a local running script, so it's yep. Uh, yep. it doesn't require any yeah. any connection or and probably any fee. a much smaller data set yep. than than the Mid Journey and, yep. and the other ones. Yep. Yeah. yeah, or Dell E. Uh, yeah. So uh, twenty country Contra one. Uh, uh, sorry if I'm butchering your name. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, you're right. I mean, he says. Uh, I think it's a question of magnitude. So again, about the, the, you know, talking about AI and and the uh, the matter of, um, you know, how it will influence things, how it will move forward. Yeah. Um, uh, possibility of AI to displace as many jobs. It seems like it might. Again, like, I think AI can do a lot of things already, and it, and it's moving ahead quite quickly. But I think it's you know we have to see how viable it is. And like I said, so you know, some jobs might change in, in terms of nature, but I don't think it will completely put everybody out of work just yet. Um, that that's like if you push it to extremes, and and like you know, if you can try to do as many things by AI and robots and stuff as you can possibly think of, but then still, um, that's unlikely to happen so quickly because again, like that's yeah. that's just too fast. And so I think there will be indeed limitations. Um, there's already limitations being put on it, by the way. So you yeah. can already see it kind of happening. Um, but yeah, you know, if, if they can use it as like a, something that just helps. I, I um, think, yeah, I think it will become a tool. So an yeah. extension of yeah. what you're doing before. So yeah. if you're drawing this picture, yeah. for example, yeah. by hand or you make like a AI generative uh, yeah. image, you, you still need to judge if it's to your liking and, and if you want to change it, you still need to do it by your yeah. hand. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of logic and I heard an, an argument saying, you know, some people said, I don't like it if it's made by AI because then it's missing the soul or whatever. I mean, if yeah, sure, if you, if you see that in the end product, yeah. But I mean, you, you wouldn't say like, I, I don't like, um, I, I don't like a, a fence because I use the hammer. You know, because I used a certain tool to make it, right? That that doesn't make any sense. And AI, yeah. in essence, is a tool. So yeah. in the end, it's it you know it's the same argument. Yeah. Um, you, you don't say I, I don't like clothing because you used a sewing machine to make it. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. Uh, and everybody <coughs> needs to get used to it that that it's been. But it, uh, yeah, like it you said, right? We, we still have like to. It's, it's so new. Yeah. And it, it moves so fast that we yeah. still haven't really had enough time to really make sense of it. And it's, it's evolving so fast as well that it, the use cases change a bit. So, you know, I guess we have to wait for it to kind of settle before we can really determine how we can use it, how, what we think is okay, how to use it, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but also, I mean, again, like it's a valid concern, you know, if a lot of people get put out of jobs because of it. Um, but again, like it's not the first time we're facing this. That this is something that every yeah. now and again happens. I mean, think about job automation when it comes to factories, for example. You know, some factories move to machine-based instead of humans. Uh, you know, a lot of puts a lot of people out of work. So on the short term, yeah, that presents a problem. Um, but you know, again, this this happens every now and again. It's not a new thing. Uh, but the, the the tool that is being uh, discussed and that's causing it is new. Uh, and is very much evolving still, so it hasn't settled. It's not like a set thing quite yet. Uh, but it's yeah, for us also, it's quite interesting to see you know how this will be uh, moving forward and uh, yeah, <laughs> army robots that changed a lot. Robots and well, I mean you know, yeah. What what if wars are only fought by AI and robots instead of humans? I mean, there, it would be great if there was no wars at all. I mean, that would be the best thing. But well, uh, you you could call the drones. Uh, robots, yeah, exactly. Right? It's yeah. It so kind it's of not that far kind from of, yeah. this time yeah. yet. Yeah. Anyway, no, no, no. I mean, industries they, they probably won't disappear completely, yeah. as you say, right? It's it's more of you know, it's it's. There's always <clears throat> we're always trying to move forward. There's always new technologies, yeah. new things happening, and and that will you know again like I think it's more of yeah. a a question of we will have to find a way of how to deal with it and give it give it a place. Let's say so. We're, I I think currently we're still trying to find out you know what it can do uh, and and the valid use cases, and then we'll, we'll have to at some point give it a a, a good place that that we feel comfortable with and that we. Uh, that, that it, it can help, it, we, we can have benefits from it, but that we can try to mitigate the, the downsides, the, the potential downsides of it, as far as we can tell. Um, and that's going to be a messy process, and I think it, it, all, it kind of always is with this kind of thing, but um, it's very interesting. 
But yeah, thank you. So I didn't want to. Yeah, I, I know you, you. I saw you. You had some pretty strong uh, thoughts about it, and uh, didn't want to go into them all um, completely, let's say, or in that much detail. But uh, yeah, I appreciate you, you sharing your opinion on it. So I didn't want to give you the idea that I was ignoring you. Um, but yeah, I, I think this the discussion will, will still. Been it's an ongoing four, discussion. Four years, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it, and that's very much the case. So that's why yeah. it's it's very much open, uh, and I think it needs to be open, right? The, 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 this needs to be discussed um, at great length before we can figure out what to do with it and you know what is the the best way moving forward. <clears throat> but it's you know for now it's more like you know it's a very interesting gimmick, let's say, and and um, uh, let's just hope it it doesn't really cause that much harm, um, maybe legally. It can, but like physically, it doesn't really harm people, I hope. <clears throat> At least not as far as we can tell. I mean, if it puts you out of a job, then obviously it's very palpable uh, and it's very noticeable, but I don't think we're quite there yet. Um, but we're getting close to it. I mean, there's yeah. like, uh, there was a thing about the, uh, the finals, right? The, um, the uh, uh, shoutcasters or whatever, the, the, the voices uh, that kind of talk about what's going on in the game. Uh, those are AI generated, I heard. So that's, um, I didn't know about that, but that's quite impressive. And on the one hand, it's really impressive, and it, I get really excited hearing about that because it, it, that just opens a whole new possibility. At the same time, you know, you have to realize that, yeah, I mean, there's, th that's, th the, th that would have been or could have been a job for people, for voice actors that now didn't exist. Like, th that wasn't a job. People did not get paid for that. So that's the, you know, the flip side of it. But like, like any tool, right, it's, it's not essentially good or bad in and of itself. It's how you use it. And that's what we have to figure out. Like a hammer, right? You can use it to build things and to, to make things, but you can also use it to hurt people. It yep. doesn't, doesn't make it good or bad. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't want to go too far down that rabbit hole because, like I said, right, that's a like a, a discussion Lengthy that's discussion. far from. Yeah. It's just <coughs> it's just starting that discussion. Let's say it's, yeah. it's not even close to being finished. Um, but yeah, it opens a lot of doors. <clears throat> Shall we move on to the yes laptop again? Yes, let's do that. Maybe we can show that the performance is different from the CPU, the integrated graphics, the GPU, and compare it with the desktop um, one. Yeah, is that the other graph that you uh, yeah. mm -hmm. included? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Let me yeah, th th there's a software uh, from UL. Uh, UL's probably... Oh, wait. Mo yeah, before we do that, wait, let me... Oh. Uh, here we go. So I, I promised you guys I had an overview uh, of uh, which uh, software uh, was supporting uh, AI ready or are AI ready already at the moment, meaning uh, they can either fully or partially use the neural processing unit in the uh, in the new Meteor Lake. So that's, uh, you know, things like Lightroom, Audacity, uh, as uh, Ruth already mentioned, I believe, yeah. uh, IQ, I, I, I don't know what, what some of these are. Uh, Magix Vegas, obviously, uh, OBS Studio, Windows Studio Effects, XSplit VCam, uh, Skylum Luminar, well, you can see them all here. GIMP, which we, we were using earlier as well. Yeah, that, um, that's, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the, the GIMP and Audacity, that's the one also demoed on CES and yeah. e even earlier on uh, Computex. Yeah. So I mean that's quite interesting, and it's yeah. uh, it's already moving ahead quite uh, quite fast, and especially when it comes to you know helping with production uh, and and yeah. just speeding things up, which again it, it can just enhance your output, which for a creator is is great because you can do more work in a shorter amount of time. So um, just looking at it like that, that's actually a great thing. Um, then on to those performance numbers you mentioned. Yeah, the, the software is, is from UL, the, uh, mostly known from 3D Mark, and before that was Future Mark. Uh, yeah. UL also has PC Mark, and um, also have like a professional benchmarking suite called, uh, if I pronounce it correctly, Procyon. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, Procyon, Procyon. Is apparently is a very bright star or whatever. Anyway, yeah. just looked it up and uh, okay. how to pronounce it almost. So yeah, <laughs> anyway. Uh, there's an AI benchmarking uh, suite inside, and um, it <coughs> runs all kinds of tests, and I'm not sure about it. Uh, I can open it up and sh uh, show you. Uh, so it has a mobile net uh, AI inferencing model, 
and um, a, a different one and another one and another one. There's like four of them, <laughs> four or five of them, and they also increase in, uh, yeah, at least in power usage, I would say, and also in, uh, in probably in amount of calculations needed. Uh, so um, you also see if you run it on a graphics card, then the, the GPU power will shoot up to, uh, uh, with the last test, it will uh, run uh, very close to the power limit. Um, but the speed is what, what yeah, interests us the most. And uh, especially the CPU, you can see it's the shortest uh, uh, bar there. So CPUs are not really well suited for AI. Uh, even the, the 3900K, uh, the desktop one, uh, that's the, the the second from yeah, the let bottom. Me, let me see if I can get the mouse in here. Here yeah. we go. Uh, this one. Yeah. yeah. That one is is uh, the, that's one of the faster CPUs nowadays, and yeah. uh, it, it, it was not in comparison to the the uh, the, the graphics one. Uh, just above that, there's the integrated graphics of the 3900K, or oh, also here. known as the Intel UHD 770 graphics, so that's the integrated graphics from um, a previous generation, yeah. and that's not fast either. So if we look up to the, the more brightly red bars, yeah. uh, you can see that the, the integrated graphics bar uh, from uh, the, the 165H. That's the ARC. That, yeah, that, yes. that's already some decent uh, improvement compared to the that's last generation IGP. Twice, am I saying? No, actually, oh, actually, yeah, no, you we're have comparing to compare it to, to this. That one. Yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, in that case, it's uh, whew, wow, that's like three uh, more than three times as fast. Actually, it's pretty much, yeah, it's almost three times fast. Yeah, so that, that's where the calculations come from. Yeah, uh, and so it has potential. And then you also see the NPU, that's the, the second one from the top. Yep. And especially fine. that one uh, uh, probably has less cores and less. Uh, uh, transistors uh, yep. as real estate, but it can do it efficiently. So yeah, yeah exactly. That, that's what Intel uh, tells us. So, uh, for yep. power efficiency, the NPU can be used very well. Also, looks pretty uh, pretty impressive indeed. Yeah, yeah. So it's faster than the integrated graphics of a 3900K. So that's yeah, yeah still exactly there you go. quite good. Um, I also noticed that I only looked at the power peaks and the power peaks of the laptop. So um, uh, with, with the uh, well, actually, on the motherboard, I also uh, on the desktop system, I also looked at the power. Um, so the 4090 is the fastest, the desktop one, right? Yeah. yeah well. But it also drew uh, 480 watts at that time. Yeah. Uh, at least in the last test of those uh, five uh, tests, <laughs> and um, the 4080 uh, laptop GPU yeah. drew 100 watts in top. Uh, there you go. So that's. Like, so, yeah, yeah. So performance per watt, that's probably more efficient. But yes. yeah, if you you go for speed, then uh, just go for the desktop. Well, uh, the I mean, best graphics you can possibly get. Because you said it's uh, the desktop was 400 watts, give or take. 480. 400. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Because but as that, you can that's see, only it's like in the last test because that's like five tests. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they range from from easier tasks to to uh, more yeah. stressful tasks. Exactly. And the, the last test is usually the the, the most power. And but then, if you yeah. If you look at it, it's like it's only about like the desktop version is only about twice as fast, yeah. barely, n not even. Um, Four point eight times the power. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. if you look at it, if uh, efficiency wise, yeah. then this this one is way more efficient than the yeah. desktop version, but which maybe, doesn't surprise maybe me. Maybe we should split out the, the tests and then only yeah. look at the last test and compare power versus. Yeah, you can do that, but yeah, hmm. and uh, I have no really not really a clue what this numbers exactly means. So no, this indeed. was the only yeah. AI benchmark I could find. And I was yeah. just interesting, OK, the NPU, uh, how, how should we look at that? Is that yeah. like a high performance unit, or is that an efficient unit? Yeah. Or uh, can the, uh, the, the integrated graphics do a better job, or at least a faster job? And how much does it compare to a, 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 a GPU that we all know? Yeah. yeah. So that's basically what I wanted to. Uh, yeah. Test with this uh, benchmark. Exactly, but uh, also, but I also got it yesterday, so yeah. I downloaded it yesterday. So <laughs> I didn't have that much time. But uh, thank you for uh, uh, notebook team uh, to supply me with the uh, the software. Yeah, and I mean, like with a lot of things here as well. Like this is a new uh, generation of product with with new some new technology. So yeah, you know the the the, the benchmarking suites and stuff like that. It's still catching up to that as well, obviously. Yeah. I remember when we had P and E cores as well. That you know, that was also uh, you know, through yeah. through everything uh, for a loop for for a, a, a bit, and then uh, you know they figured out a way how to deal with it. It's it's the same with this, right? So um, yeah. 
I'm not even sure how valid these results are at the moment. Uh, it's no, like no. you said, right? It's the only thing we could find on short notice that yeah. could give some representation yeah. of, um, you know, how things scored uh, yeah. compar comparatively to each other. The good thing about most UL uh, benchmarks is that it's always apples to apples. So yep. if I test it or uh, someone else tests it, you can compare those results. If you, uh, for example, uh, uh, would be testing with the Open Vino plugin, yeah. we don't know what uh, parameters you gave it exactly. and I did. So yeah. your c numbers could, yeah. Very wildly be compared, indeed. right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's not really the a, same uh, as with gaming. Some gaming they don't have presets, so you don't know what the user is testing. So yeah. your numbers might be very different and still have the same kind of performance. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so that that's a good thing about the UL benchmarks usually. Exactly. And uh, yeah, and for this is the first one we see, and uh, there, <laughs> there might be a lot of them in the future. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, probably. I mean, th there probably, will be, yeah. you know, again, like th there needs to be some some more benchmarks as well to kind of yeah. test this, yeah. and, and specifically the uh, the dedicated uh, NPU, for example, or I guess that if, you know, for Nvidia, that's the Tensor cores, uh, which yeah. are more AI or you know that task generated. Um, so yeah, it's it's very interesting, and it will. I'm sure it will evolve uh, to to a bit more standardized approach at some point. Yeah. it usually does. Um, so also there, I mean, a lot of things going on, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see. So yeah, we, we showed these earlier uh, already. Um, let's do a bit of a, uh, yeah, uh, what is this? Um, I want to say like, the, you know, finishing it off, let's say like an overview, here we go. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, the the studio, or sorry, uh, Creator 16 AI Studio laptops, uh, they they have the, the new Core Ultra, uh, you know, processors. They have uh, the GeForce RTX with uh, Studio, obviously, so that's very uh, useful for, for the creators as well. Um, they have either uh, UHD, QHD, or Full HD screens. Uh, the UHD, or 4K, let's say, are uh, uh, mini LED as well in the in the configuration that we saw, but again this this differs per uh, per skew. Um, they're uh, two kilograms, so that's quite light actually. So very portable, uh, great for if you're on the go with uh, the uh, magnesium aluminum alloy chassis. Um, they're only 20 millimeters or two centimeters thick, let's say. So the the height. Uh, I'm guessing is what that means, right? The 19.95 millimeters. Um, then, uh, yeah, Wi-Fi 7 support. So again, also that, like, it's, it's pretty much, I, I don't know anybody who has a Wi-Fi 7 router yet, but uh, so it's like, it's, it's going so fast with those technologies as well, right? Um, but yeah, it's whenever Wi-Fi 7 is more prevalent and, and you have a router with that, uh, you can use those speeds, which also for networking speeds, if you're, you know, pulling up files or having to save them to your home server or whatever. It's very useful to have that. Uh, DDR5 RAM, I mean, RAM is also very important for, uh, you know, if you're working on big projects, um, fast RAM, um, PCIe Gen 4 SSD support, uh, also plenty of speed there, so that's also quite useful. Uh, Thunderbolt 4 support also, uh, yeah, again, really useful. 99.9 uh, .9 watt hour batteries, barely legal batteries, uh, but yeah, no problem taking it on a plane. Uh, for security, the uh, TPM 2.0, uh, and also you know the, the military standards, so this is all uh, very sturdy built, and uh, the components used very high quality. Um, uh, backlit keyboards also there, not just because it looks nice, but also I mean if you're if you're you know working in a in a you know, somewhat darker environment or something, it's actually useful because you can see uh, what you're typing or where all the keys are that you're looking for. Um, the speaker configuration, again, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's quite nice for a, for a laptop, let's say, right? So it's, uh, it's pretty decent. Uh, Cooler Boost 5, uh, so very good cooling on this laptop, but I mean, the components are also very efficient, so that helps a lot as well. Um, and then uh, the AI engine, as we mentioned, right? So it will it will automatically switch profiles uh, based on what you're doing, yeah. and the applications you're running, and uh, AI artists, which again, like, uh, it, yeah. it's looking very promising. And we sh we only showed a very early demo. Uh, it's not the finished product. No. Uh, it will it will be uh, probably a lot better uh, and, and yeah. different uh, when it actually releases. 
uh, should be somewhere at least in the first quarter of yeah. this year that it completely uh, the final release let's say, well not final it probably there will be updates later on as well um, <laughs> like I'm thinking about products with products something at some point is final but when it comes to things like AI and, and software it, you know you keep getting updates um, which improve things so that's always good yeah uh, so yeah, all in all, it's a really nice package of a product. Uh, it, it looks really nice, really professional as well, um, very sleek. And uh, yeah, I think if you uh, if you are a creator and you, you you are on the go a lot of times and you you have to go to presentations and customers and stuff like that, I think this is a great uh, uh, product to have, and it will be, you know, a very powerful thing that you can quickly churn out a lot of uh, projects. Um, and knowing uh, knowing how it goes with AI and and things like DLSS and whatever, which you know obviously with a GeForce uh, GPU or RTX uh, GPU I rather, um, you know all all these benefits uh, you also get with it, and this this yeah. is continually getting better and better and more efficient. Now these Meteor Lake uh, laptops, we we have yeah, announced a lot of uh, SKUs or different uh, models uh, on CES. Yeah, uh, but we also have the the fourteen. Uh, HX uh, model uh, in gaming laptops, so that there's a lot to choose from. And yep. the AI is not only Intel; it's also uh, Nvidia. It's also AMD. So yep. yeah, obviously everybody yeah. is everybody is jumping on, the AI. on that bandwagon. Yeah. So yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, uh, when this laptop will be ready to get it for one more insider? Uh, I'm not sure what you're. I mean, it, when it's available, uh, it should be available within this first quarter of this year. Uh, but it, yeah. also that depends per region. Um, yeah. And and the configurations are as always with with uh, full systems. Uh, you know, with laptops or, or desktops, they are always different per country, per per store. Even they can yeah. have different uh, configurations that they offer. But, uh, we're still yeah. waiting for the, the media samples to arrive of these yep. um, notebooks, and then we should also get a lot of reviews in and uh, see exactly. how it performs. Yeah. Um, so I think that covers most of it, right? Mm -hmm. Did we skip anything? Mm, not that we've prepared. So <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The prompts we didn't prepare, but yeah. No, <laughs> indeed, that was uh, that was impromptu, right? Impromptu. That was, uh, improv. Oh, okay. Improv. Um, Yeah, uh, let's see. Tell your Africa team to hurry up. We will. No worries. I mean, they are. <laughs> they always are, right? But it's always, you know, everybody's trying to hurry up. Um, let's do. Uh, let's do one more giveaway, and then uh, let's. Uh, after that, let's call it a day. And so I'll give away two more codes. Uh, so if you haven't participated yet, you can do so. Um, oh. Wait, is it actually? Let me see. It was. It was. I. I thought it said that I couldn't do. Uh, Oh, here we go. Yeah, it, it didn't let me uh, select the number of winners I wanted to pick. Here we go. All right. So two more winners, uh, and their names are Mark GK. Congratulations, Mark! You win a uh, giveaway, or sorry, a game code for Assassin's Creed Mirage. Uh, and the other one is Bobby, which is a very generic name, but I uh, I assure you, uh, the, the right Bobby will get the code because we have your uh, your email address, and we'll, we'll mail it out to you directly. So no worries if you if you're not sure if there's multiple bobbies there, you'll soon find out. Uh, and we can't disclose any more about like location or anything. We're not going to say which country they're from. Um, that's you know we're not allowed to do that. So we can only say the uh, the nickname that they provided, uh, which in this case is Bobby. But yeah, congratulations to Bobby as well. Um, next week. Well, you Next already week. kind of you already kind of mentioned it earlier this uh, this live stream, right? Next week is going to be yeah. about uh, yeah the new AMD Ryzen 7 8700G APU, and uh, you guys are going to put it to the test. So uh, not, not the MSI think, claw, no, no. No, it's not. No, no. no. We're, we're actually <laughs> we're, we're trying to get our claws on the claw uh, and see no, if we can get yet. it for a live stream at some point, indeed. But. Uh, no. As you can imagine, everybody wants to get their grubby paws on it. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's uh, it's going to take a while. But it's uh, again a CPU with integrated graphics and some yeah. AI. So we're going to do some benchmarking, and Michiel will tell you all about exactly. it. Exactly, it's going to be really interesting. Um, so yeah. 
Anyway, but uh, yeah, thank everybody. Uh, thank you everybody for joining. Uh, thanks also for uh, for the avid discussion and uh, and your yeah. inputs mm -hmm. in the chats. We always appreciate it. Uh, always very interesting, and we uh, hope to see you guys next week. So uh, until now, congrats or congratulations to the winners indeed. Still, uh, and no, this uh, this stream is not U.S. only, guys. It's uh, it's a global stream. Uh, we are based in Europe, by the way. So just in case you were wondering. Um, but yeah, we, we try to give out information that's kind of valid for, for, for our global audience. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining, and we hope to see you guys next week. Yeah, thank Take you. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.